I'm sorry to say this, but, you know, Europeans and being secret crypto neo-Nazis goes hand in hand sometimes, okay? A crypto N-word. No, as in... And then he presses a big red button, and then these big missiles come out of the ground, and it's got sirens going off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Truly the end of Western civilization, innit? But if you keep pulling this DGG sh- and use the Vosh V subreddit like it's LSF to try and start drama. Disgusting filth, dude. Eurocentrist trash. Cock logic, that's me, baby. And Hassan is being dumb for this take. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh no! They are so like, ah, oh, basid! Okay, can someone let me look? So, I need some insight here. What's this Hassan? Adam something thing because that's what I want here to talk about to start with I honestly don't know much about it all I know is there's been some accusation wait what's that background sorry Eris do you not support Black Lives Matter where's the video of Hassan is calling Adam something a crypto a crypto n-word no as in Nazi Adam something posted a 40 minute video about how Gravel lies about Azov so a bunch of Euro sock dems might come in here being fucking annoying dude I'm sorry to say this, but, you know, Europeans and fucking being secret crypto neo-Nazis goes hand in hand sometimes, okay? Europe and uh, pro-NATO Europeans being a fucking fan of Nazis or running defense for Nazis is not exactly news to me, okay? Holy shit. Also, Adam something. Look, I know so, he's got some good videos okay. on fucking... I did know, watch this clip yesterday, and I'll just kind of repeat what I said yesterday about it. Um, as a European... As a person from Europe, I've got no... I literally don't know what he's talking about. Um, you, there, I mean, obviously, I can only speak for like, England, the UK. The best I can think of is that some people will be supportive of... Nat- I mean, even, like, you don't get European people, like, thinking, like, massively about NATO, you, do, you know, you don't have these, you know, it's not like you go to the pub and talk about how base NATO is, you know, you don't really think of it like that. It's, it's not, it's not as if it's an institution that is particularly in front of your face all the time, right? Generally, it's more so like the European Union. That's going to be more of a topic of conversation, right? That's going to be more of a topic of conversation is like what's going on in the EU. Um... But NATO, yeah, it's not really something we talk about or think about that much. Um, And what I'd say is if there was support of NATO that was particularly prominent or discussed at, like, the European individual level, it would probably just be some sort of, like, praise for the fact that it protects us or or something. And, you know, it's like, I I, I don't know. I I really don't know what he's getting at. Do you know what I mean? I really don't understand what he's getting at. When he's talking about like these pro-European NATO defenders, so yeah, just genuine bemusement at what he means. Um, who knows? But yeah, engineering stuff, but uh, deeply, deeply fucking frustrating to to constantly, uh, you know, have this conversation, especially when it's literally an ex alt right guy who was a Nazi until like literally a fucking year ago. Okay, maybe it's real comfortable. For uh, someone to to fall back into those uh, into those uh, propaganda talking points, yeah, just I I don't know what he's talking about, to be honest with you. Um, maybe there's like like some people have said about Eastern Europe, perhaps maybe some like you know I don't know what the culture is of like Eastern Europe talking about this stuff, but. I just find it hard to imagine that there's like all these super hardcore pro NATO Euro types wandering about the place. It just, you know, you need to, to to be talking about NATO. You need to be pretty politically invested in the discourse around like politics in general, you know? So, yeah. What's this? Um, but uh, I said something that was immediately misconstrued by fucking dumbasses that uh, were like, oh, Hassan is calling Adam something a Nazi. No, I said he used to be alt-right he used to be and i thought he was an Aussie. maybe he's not but he was alt-right Love he openly talked about it we watched his videos okay so there's always going to be a crumb of attitude from that you know from from that beginning point that is hard wait, to work over wait what okay? you're just gonna have a little bit of western chauvinism you're gonna have an attitude like that and that is um 
but uh, I said. Wait, so- but he, but he, wait, what about the stuff about the Europeans? What about the comment about Europeans? Hang on a sec. Let me well, just go te- back to it again. Adam, something posted a 40 minute video about how Gravel lies about Azov, so a bunch of Euro sock dems might come in here being fucking annoying. Dude. I'm sorry to say this, but, you know, Europeans and fucking being secret crypto neo-Nazis goes hand in hand sometimes, okay? Europe and uh, pro-NATO Europeans being a fucking fan of Nazis or running defense for Nazis is not exactly news to me. Wait! (laughs) But he didn't say that at all. He says later about, like, about Adam something, but he's making a broader comment there. Did he just forget what he said or something? (laughs) He's not just talking about Adam Summer there. He's talking about crypto-European Nazis, apparently. Like, listen, I get being a streamer and saying something that's a bit, like, uncertain or unsure or something like that. And I don't have, like, a personal, like, oh, my God, he's calling Europeans this, that, and this, like, whatever. Like, as a, as a Brit bonger, I get called way, way worse on the daily. I just find it a bit frustrating, these broad strokes. It, it Like, <laughs> what, like... I, I, as, as someone in Europe, I have no idea what he's talking about. And yeah, it's just crazy to me. Here we go. This is this. Let's have a look. How often do you think of yourself as European versus being from the UK? Um, well, this is this is the thing. When Amer- like To be really honest, um, it's really strange when Americans refer to Europeans. Because over here, we don't really see ourselves as Europeans. Right. Like I don't like we do, but we do and we don't. So what I mean by that is like when this topic of conversation comes up and people attack Europeans, I feel like, well, I'm from Europe, so I can comment on this. Right. But we do have like quite a strong individual like national identity between the nations as well. Do you see what I mean? Like if you go to Spain, if you go to France, if you go to Germany, if you go to the, you, you know, even England, Scotland, Wales, I, Northern Ireland. Nearly slipped up then. Oops, that would have been offensive to people. Um, you're going to get very different cultures and a very different identity, like a very different sense of national identity, you know? Yeah, like you call yourself, like I don't even think, I, I call myself English because I, you know, I feel like to call myself British, I, I do sometimes, but I think it's more accurate to say I'm English because although we are a United Kingdom, Scotland is very different to England in a lot of ways. Um, so it's even weirder when people use European as because there's so many disparate, um, you know, there's so many disparate different types of identity and ethnicity and culture. You know, I'm not saying that Hassan is a far right toyed, okay? But like, it's particularly weird when you get these far right types that talk about Europeans and European culture and stuff like that. Because there is no one unified European culture. It doesn't really work like that. Um, but when people talk about Europe or Europeans, I feel I, do, I feel like, well, hang on a sec. I'm European. I can kind of speak to this somewhat, you know? So, yeah. Um, bit weird. Anyway, let's see what Adam Something said in response to this slight against himself. So apparently Hassan Arbi called me a Nazi following my recent video on the Gravel Institute. Here's the clip. Now, I don't want to give Hassan too much shit because of this. I understand he's under a lot of stress. Lots of people have been piling on him, me included, over his Ukraine takes. Such such takes like this are, are the product of a simplistic American lefty streamer bro view being thrown into the vortex of nuance that is Europe. Worse, a European armed conflict. Hey, thanks a lot. That's really generous. Hey, Flipsy, thanks for the dollar. Hassan talking about Western chauvinism <laughs> while engaging in American yes. exceptionalism is just downright hilarious. This man is a parody of himself at this point. That is true. This is an exact. I, I think that, yeah, there's a level of like American centric viewpoints too on this for sure. That is quite fu- That is quite a good point. As a European myself, this is of course nothing new to me, which is why I've been able to make detailed, nuanced points, even when it comes to actual neo-Nazis in Ukraine, instead of the expected knee-jerk dismissal and denunciation. People who aren't familiar with the complexities of Europe and Ukraine, and especially the current war, might find these takes of mine scary at first, which I understand. Disingenuous people might even say that I was defending Nazis in my video on the Gravel Institute, but this is of course not the case. People who say that are either lying or haven't watched the actual video. 
Hassan didn't mean to insult me. He simply reached the narrow limits of his understanding of the world and since then couldn't control the resulting emotional outburst. Oh my god. Made up of fear, confusion and frustration. Jesus. What the hell? He is popping off. For all of these years, he and others like him were able to surf the waves of Bernie Sanders, a person with an actual overarching political philosophy and nuanced worldview. By attaching themselves to Bernie's correct points... Oh my god. Damn, he is not holding any punches back. These commentators were able to conceal that all their views are just a variation of the same three to four half-baked, disjointed ideas in lieu of a coherent set of values and an understanding of the world outside America. Uh-oh. This community is so riddled with laughable loser basement dwellers, just like yourself. Piss off, you miserable sods. Well, Chonkers, I'm going to be completely real with you. The only person here who seems miserable right now is you. So, you must have got up on the wrong side of bed. Good luck to you, though. Trying to scale these views to an issue more complex than US domestic affairs has been a disaster, unsurprisingly. With the war in Ukraine, Hassan, like many other American lefties, was brought to a humiliating realisation. US bad is not a political philosophy. <laughs> oh, my God. That... Sure was something, hey. I do, I do feel that, like a lot of um, Americanoids sadly fall into this trap, you know? Where there is this American-centric thinking, which, you know, I understand and I'm used to it now. Um, but it is a bit annoying sometimes. <laughs> okay, so, right. What's this? Is this Hassan responding? I can't say I expected Hassan's response to be charitable, but this is hilariously bad. Ah, uh, you simply do not have the high European IQ <laughs> to understand my highly nuanced takes, such as arming ultra nationalist neonazis or whatever caused blowback. And nuclear winter isn't all that bad. <clears throat> what? <laughs> Wait, hang on a sec, Hassan. I read that and I don't I don't think what's the nuclear winter thing? What's that got to do with anything? I'm a bit confused here. Can anyone help me out? What is the... I don't... I mean, look, I'm not an expert on any of this stuff, okay? But I just I just don't understand where this guy... Uh, oh, Adam said... Oh, right, was it in one of his videos? Adam said that nuclear winter won't be so bad in another post. I mean, out of context, that sounds bad. Well, that sounds bad. Is there any context that makes it any better? Let's talk a bit about nuclear war. As the invasion falters, Putin will make more and more nuclear threats. The only thing he has left. These will more likely be than th just that, threats. I doubt him or Russia, the Russian elite is suicidal. Well, this is the thing that I think about it. It's like... If Putin did do, like, a nuclear strike or something... Wouldn't... Wouldn't, wouldn't that, like, be the end of... Like, wouldn't we just wipe each other... Like, I, I don't... If it's it's like maybe I'm being a bit naive, but I'm very skeptical about the idea that we're all of a sudden going to just start a nuclear war and everyone's going to get wiped out. You know, Should, like uh, maybe I'm being a bit naive. I'll admit that if you know if that's the case, but I'm quite skeptical about the idea that there's a big red button in the Kremlin and Putin's going to be like, oh, Joshua, he's going to be like, Dosvidanya, min yazavut, um. Uh, Dos Vidania. <laughs> and then he presses a big red button and then these big missiles come out of the ground and it's got sirens going off. Whoop, 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 whoop. And the 20 nukes just get launched at America. <laughs> and it just blows up. Then the Americans see it coming in and they do it the other way. It's going to be like one, it's going to be like one of, out of the Terminator film. It's going to like Terminate. You know, in Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines at the end, when they shoot the nukes at each other and everything's getting blown up, it's gonna. Be, I don't think it's gonna be like that. That seems. I think people's views on on this are probably guided by movies and stuff. So they've watched Terminator and they're like, 
We don't want nuclear war or Skynet's going to be knocking about the place. Russia would have... Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. If it came to nuclear war, Russia would essentially be deleted from the face of the planet while the West would generally survive in some form or another. A nuclear war night right now would not be the end of humanity. Sure, it would suck. And by that, I mean a lot of people dying at least a billion plus. However, it wouldn't erase life on the planet. Consider how most of our media dealing with nuclear war takes place during the Cold War or its fictional continuation. At that point, we did have enough nukes to format the planet. However, since then, we have decommissioned 80% of our arsenal, making a nuclear war will be fought only with only a fifth of the firepower. Also, not, not all are, as in humanities, nukes are ICBMs. Many of them can't be even be deployed unless you haul it above a city with a plane. Many are just warheads sitting in a warehouse and couldn't immediately be launched. This is especially true to Russia, as they would be deleted long before any of those warheads could be used. Another thing to consider is how these strikes would be distributed. Russia has to blanket the whole of Europe and US, possibly more, while the West only has to strike Russian strategic targets. This is a guaranteed death sentence for the Russian elite, including Putin. Hence, I don't think he'll press the button, or even if he tried, he'd end up with the hole in his head. Otherwise, radiation from nuclear bombs dissipates very quickly. You know how in Fallout games, everything is still radioactive for 200 years. As far as I know, that's bullshit. 48 hours after the strike, the radiation would have gone down by 99%, and 72 hours should be safe to come out. The tricky part is not going to be the blast radius, or at least in a, in a basement when the strike happens near you. That, or a sturdy enough building, which in case you should stay in the middle or lowest floor. Don't go to the upper floors, as fallout will accumulate on the roof. Food and drink in closed containers that were inside during the strike should be generally safe to consume, so chances are you won't die of hunger or dehydration. To sum up, Putin will threaten with nukes, but it's unlikely he'll actually use them. Even if he does, though, the world won't end. Plus, your chances of survival aren't bad if the bomb was dropped directly on you and you can stick around in a basement for three days. The trouble is, I don't know the truth of what, like, what would happen with nuclear war. Um... Like, this feels like a very um, optimistic Sorry. view on it. <laughs> Nuclear bombs like Fallout games. Soy face. But then, but on the other hand, I don't think that it's going to be... Yeah, I mean, people are memeing about Fallout. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be like Fallout more. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be like Fallout. It seems... It, this is probably, like, an extremely optimistic reading, right? But... To go to the other end... I don't think that it's as bad as the worst way you could envision it, right? Um, so, yeah, the truth is probably like somewhere in between or something, right? So, yeah, it now makes more sense. Nuclear winter isn't all that bad. Wait, though, would there be nuclear winter? Isn't nuclear winter when the, the volume of, of weaponry used is so great that it has an impact on the ecosystem of the planet, Right? I don't think it would be a nuclear winter. <laughs> like, I think Hassan's being a bit disingenuous there to frame it that way. <laughs> but, Jude, I don't think it would be a nuclear holocaust. That's the point of this post. It would mean so much fallout in the air that it fucks up our ozone process. Yeah, I don't know. I think people are a bit, um, you know, excessive about it, I guess. Anyway, so there's that response. Well, what is this tweet? What's this? Horny, westoid, angloid brained, disgusting filth in the chat. Uh, uh, oh man, that's a sick burn, bro. You fucking killed him. We tactically love Nazis, actually. Yeah, you fucking killed him, dude. Adam SSP Pogigil. Neoliberal debate lords, dude. Yeah, not surprising that they would uh, fucking align with Nazis like this. <sighs> I mean, he is pro-NATO, so of course he is literally tactically going to uh, align with uh, Nazis over USSR involvement in Europe. So we know that already, which is the history of NATO, riddled with it. Many such cases. There's all these fucking horny, also, Westoid, what, what, angloid brained... 
What was this in response to? This was eight days ago. This was 18 hours ago. Because people, people, like Jude just said that Assan hate is getting so great, people are calling for nuclear war. This was a while ago. I think, isn't Assan responding to this? Very, very strange. I love it when people change for the better and leave the old right. I don't love it when people who were watching Sargon of Akkad vids while I was covering the US arming Nazis tells me I simply cannot think in a nuanced way about such things. Hassan's Twitter tantrum about me is a very useful lesson about reactionary thinking and intellectual honesty. He posted two screenshots of my posts, one where I discussed nuclear war, the other where I responded to him calling me a Nazi. He then highlighted two small sections from each post and made some choice comments, ignoring the rest of what I wrote. Oh no. Of the things he wrote, my favourite is this. I love when people change for the better and leave the alt-right. I don't love it when people who are watching Sargon of Akkadvids while I was covering the US arming Nazis tells me I simply cannot think in a nuanced way about such things. And so a choice method of Sargon and people like him back then was to find post videos by feminists. Oh, he's going for this dunk. Where the latter makes reasonable but controversial points. For example, the feminists would write a long post how gender is a social construct. If you read what they wrote as a whole, their points are actually quite agreeable. However, Sargon would... Oh my god, this is bringing back memories. Sargon would zero in on one sentence like, and if you're, And if you're a biological man... There's nothing fundamental stopping you from identifying as a woman. Welcome to Chud Nation. Thanks for the sub, Lurtz. He would highlight it and post it with a caption like, Look at these, fe look at these feminists thinking men could be women. Truly the end of Western civilization, in it. Then his audience would pile into the comments, screeching about SJWs, degeneracy, how there are only two genders, etc. Without them, any of them ever engaging with the arguments made by the feminist in the post. Sargon wouldn't engage with the arguments either because he didn't actually read the post or consider it intellectually. He just scanned it for something objectionable to highlight and that was the end of his intellectual engagement. Needless to say, such attitude is prime reactionary thinking, carrying the nuance of an online lynch mob. I broke away from this when I moved left a while ago, having realised how this can pull one down a very dangerous rabbit hole. But then here's Hassan, who has been covering the US arming Nazis when I was watching Sargon vids, doing the exact same thing without any thought or introspection. While both Hassan and I are leftists, we're nothing like each other. I'm a leftist out of consideration, while Hassan is a leftist out of sheer circumstance. Had he been born into a different environment, he could very well be typing out anti-feminist posts on Twitter right now. He didn't need to switch out a few words as the rhetoric and thinking are already the same. Oh my god. Wait, is RTBA defending the king? RTBA is defending the king, everyone. RTBA is defending his king. Hassan is, <laughs> Hassan is his king and destiny is his prince. Okay, that's how it, that's how it is. That's how it works. Because Hassan's got the bigger audience. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, stop mucking about. I'm trying to read this. While both Hassan and I are leftists, we are nothing like each other. I'm a leftist of consideration. Oh, I've read that already. In contrast, I feel like I'd find my way to leftism eventually, even if I was born into different environments. I would likely get caught up in reactionary thinking, but eventually my analytical thinking would prevail over my feelings. All the same, I would then be typing out detailed posts about my positions. Hassan could then read those posts and consider them intellectually, but alas, Hassan of Akkad can't read. <gasps> oh, that is going to put a cat amongst the pigeons. Hassan of Akkad. Oh my god. I think he's... Listen, look, if I'm going to be totally honest with you, that is extremely provocative. Okay, I mean... Even I wouldn't go as far as to call him Hassan of Akkad. Okay, I think that's a bit much. But nonetheless, it's good juicy content. <sighs> also, I don't agree. I don't I don't agree with his um ideas of like, well, I've thought about my positions. That may be true, but that is also as a result of your circumstances, right? Um 
So yeah, I don't really agree that, oh, well, I'm, you know, through the sheer power of my mind, I would have been doing this. No, come on, bro. We're all, we're all, um, we're all blown by the same wind at the end of the day. Um, but yeah. Hassan from Swindon. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you might be affected by the complex... Um, you know, combination of influences and circumstances that exist linked to like, linking into your genetics that lead to certain outcomes. But me, I'm built different. Okay. My brain is so big. I would just think my way into the morally correct position, no matter what happened. Okay. I could have been a Nazi in the middle of Berlin in, in 1943. Right. I could have been loading the wheelbarrows at, you know what, <laughs> and firing up the ovens. <laughs> and even then, even then, <laughs> I would have gone, nah, this ain't it, chief. <laughs> now nah, I've got to put a stop to this. This is wrong. <laughs> okay, come on, stop mucking about. <laughs> right, what's this? Is this, okay, is this the Vosh stuff? Vosh and Adam something drama. Is this going to give me what I need? But like it wild, okay. Basic reading comprehension. It's good job that Asan is handsome. Just a little bit of fucking, you know, uh, just uh, object objectification, you know. I misspoke. Stuff. Such a man, baby. Can't take the L. Can't take criticism. What's this? What's all this about rune arrows? <laughs> What's all this? I was like, I got. I'll go back to this for a second. It's a good job it isn't something embarrassing. Tell me more about these rune arrows, though. Um, <laughs> that isn't at all what he said. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Okay. Did I watch this already? I've, I'm not really prepared not for this. community at all, for the record. I don't know. I really thought so. I reached out to Vosh earlier today. I was like, oh, listen, yeah. dude, I see, I see something going on that I don't like. I'm letting you know it's a fucking never-ending death spiral. It will turn out bad if you just, like, allow this kind of shit to foster. And he was like, sorry, he was literally like, yeah, you no, fuck off. Like, these were legitimate criticisms. I was like, you. bro, they were literally clipping shit from my Twitter. Where Yo, what was it? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, I'm sure someone I know, I know of, said, made a comment about criticism. <laughs> seeking it out and thriving off it. Maybe I'm misremembering. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I'm misremembering. I don't know. But I'm fairly certain. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, dear. Jesus. Listen, I find it really difficult because I don't just want to, like... I actually praised Hassan the other day and said he did a good take on something. But now I'm watching this. I came into this thinking, look, I don't want to, I don't want to go too hard on the guy. I want to, you know, how, like, but it's just, it's just, how am I supposed to, do you look at this in any other way? Where I was criticizing Russia to make it seem like I was pro-Russia. How is that in any way, shape or form fucking legitimate criticism? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Here, I think he's. I still think he has like ideologically uh, progressive values. Uh, I just don't think that this is anything but uh, just people literally just saying this is the fuck Hassan. Maybe this is not a leftist community at all. For the record, I don't know. Does RTB have someone to meet? No, me and RTB are chill. We've had a couple of. Uh, he's pissed me off a couple of times, but. Yeah, we, we're totally chill. Um, if we had an issue, we'd, we'd hash it out in DMs probably. So yeah, no problems whatsoever. Um, I just like winding them up about the Destiny and Nissan stuff because it's funny. Yeah, wait. One of the, <laughs> one of the few times Azan reaches out to someone else is to tell them to watch their back for him. This guy is unreal. Doesn't reach out to anyone, and then and then <laughs> then he's like, 
hey, Vosh. Vosh is probably like, oh, finally, Hassan's reaching out to me. And Hassan is like, your fucking subreddit is shitting on me. What are you doing? Sort it out. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this as well? Yo, this needs to stop immediately, Lee. The, the, the fuck's sake. Oh, why do I keep misspeaking? It's so, it's so bad. You get called out for it too. Go on, he. Go on, he. You do it. Go on. Get, get it over with. Okay. Yo, this needs to stop immediately. Listen to me. I don't care if you like Vosh. I don't care if you like horse porn. Oh, dear. But if you keep pulling this DGG shit. I've gotten numb to the criticism. Like, it's not. It's, I, as a matter of fact, I seek it out now because I make content out of it. I seek it out. I seek it out. Yo, this needs to stop immediately. Listen to me. I don't care if you like voice. I don't care if you like horse porn. But if you keep pulling this DGG shit and use the Vosh V subreddit like it's LSF to try and start drama, it's only going to be bad for every content creator involved. Hey, That's really generous of you. Wait, I was doing the dishes. Let me join the train. He Omega Lal. Listen, dude, I appreciate you, okay? I know that this is difficult. This is, Look, it's difficult for you. Honestly, it's difficult for me too, okay? Because I do get on with you. But man's got to do what a man's got to do, okay? I can't. I won't do that voice there. That's too much. Um, Vosh and the left-leaning anarchist neo-lib content creators do not realize that this is precisely the attitude their communities foster, and it's precisely why there's never any solidarity and just pure internet bloodshed. Um, what well, his take on nuclear war was very, seemed extremely optimistic. I didn't like the tone of his thing there, I guess. But um, other than that, I mean, yeah, Hassan's being a dickhead, so, yeah. Um, it's easy to misconstrue my words here. You all have favorite content creators. People clip them in heated moments all the time. Stop doing this dumb shit, you fucking morons. I mean, like, look, I okay, so what I will say is this. There is some truth in the idea about clip chimping, right? What I mean by that is all of us are tired of getting clip chimped. We hate getting clip chimped all the time, okay? We hate it, right? But when it's someone that we don't like that gets clip chimped, all bets are off. <laughs> all bets are off and it's like, wait, 10 second clip of someone I don't like saying something. I'm just going to accept that this is a fair representation of what happened and that's it. No more questions asked, you know? I'm guilty of this. Hassan's guilty of this, 100%, and that's why it's so fucking hypocritical of him coming from him, because he does it as well. But we all do it, right? We all do it, okay? And I think that I've got some sympathy, and I think that we could all do sometimes with maybe putting down the katana, okay? Put down the katana of bad faith, where we are constantly trying to, like, find clips that shit on each other and stuff like that. The problem you've got, though, is that, like... Hassan, like, sometimes you can say something. And I don't really understand what other context there could be, you know? And that can be like, you know, you kind of doubt yourself because people say so often, context, 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 doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. That's, you know, it, it, you know whatever. But you're like, well, maybe it does. Maybe there is something. I, I don't know. I just think sometimes there are some limited clips where you can get an insight into what's going on. Um... So, yeah, I think it's important to, you know, clarify exactly what was said if you really want to do a good job of commenting on it, you know. Um, but, but the nature of this content is you do end up reacting to clips and talking about clips and stuff like that. But everyone's guilty of it. Me, Hassan, everyone. All the content creators will do this where they look at a clip and make a judgment, okay? Um, and, yeah. Basically, if it's 30 seconds plus... At that point, it's less likely that it's going to be clipped super hard out of context. It's the ones that are like 10 to 15 seconds long. They're the ones that normally are just complete horseshit, generally speaking, okay? 
but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so basically then, from what I understand, what Asan's problem is, is there are posts in Vosh's subreddit that he's claiming are not just fair criticism, but are just bullshit, basically. Have I got that right? Hassan is such a crybaby man-child. Oh my god. Hassan for years let mods ban Vosh listeners. Also, Hassan asking Vosh to stop his community shitting on it. I love, I love the listen. I love the fact that he's like trying to stop, trying to stop the flow of shit coming towards him, and it's still going. People are still just posting on the subreddit. It's just he can't stop it. It's impossible. Please stop. It's like nope. Look at this. It is all Hassan. Hassan, see the. <laughs> It's post a savage. Hassan seething, molding, and shitting over the Adam something response. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit. Damn, it's really popping off, isn't it? Anyway, let's watch this video. Hopefully this gives us some insights into what's going on. He literally said that. You just are too stupid to read, okay? Every time I think he can't get dumber, he pulls more retarded takes out of his ass. This is a genuine talent to be stupid, not gonna lie. You have taken the L over L for the past few months. You really think you're right about this one? Just read it. You're not a leftist. Just fucking read it. Just read the, just read the quotes, okay? It's his words. Just read it. But it doesn't matter because no one... And I mean, no one fucking does this. They can't. It's just like, oh, you're trending. Oh, you're fucking, I hate you. So I'm just going to literally assume that you're a dumbass over and over again. I'm going to repeat yes. that you're a dumbass over and over again. True, correct. Wait, what? I've always ended up um, to it. Average Turkish reading comprehension. I did not expect that much from this Anatolian <laughs> baboon. But Jesus Christ, you are genuinely scum. I do hope nuclear holocaust happens sometimes, okay? Just, you know, put the no-fly zone over Ukraine. Let's have it. Let's, let's let it happen, dude. Because, you know, I just, I can't. I hate living on a planet with... I did it a bit yesterday and, you know, I, we saw I got a bit annoyed. But this is something to stick by. I, I don't always stick by it, right? And you're right. At Asan's size, it's pointless reading replies and quote tweets, right? You're not going to get anything good out of it, right? Never like fight someone that hasn't got anything to lose you know how much you invest is up to you obviously but these people like i could i could set up a twitter account now and just go quote tweet things with shitty mean things and if it got deleted i could start again tomorrow um now the problem you've got is even if you're right or like even if you've got like a 50 50 some people agree with you some people don't You're still going to get shot on, you know? You're still going to get shot on. Um, I mean, yeah, making content out of it is one thing, but, like, I genuinely think it affects his mental state. <laughs> I genuinely think it does affect his, like, mental mental capacity. And he just loses it. <laughs> I don't know. This just seems a bit pointless, going through these Twitter quote tweets. people like this that just have a say okay straight up fuck it you know bring it up just fly the nukes up people are shy almost homie really said don't go at a song because he's too dumb and emotional to understand the conflict and then when i repeat the fucking uh you know repeat the takes it's like nope you don't deserve your platform says fembury merc every time every time anything happens yeah, I just can't sub or follow him anymore. I was just going to let the dumb Ukraine shit blow over to go back. But this attitude towards... I mean, it's quite clear that Hassan is very... He's got very, like, lackluster knowledge about the conflict. I mean, how long was he saying that Russia wasn't going to invade Ukraine? And he was saying it was all, you know, the media doing, like, war propaganda shit or whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> Do 
you know what I mean? Yeah, ignoring quotes, uh, you know, I, I'm guilty of it. I like to have a little look and see what's going on. Um, but yeah, generally speaking, it's best to avoid it. Don't seek out criticism of you in like the shittest places because you just end up with a bunch of wankers saying shitty stuff. The thing is, is it's okay to have a prediction, but he was so smug about it. Do you know what I mean? My basic point is he spent all this time covering what's going on. And he doesn't really have any particular, like, meaningful insight. And that's fine. But... Yeah, he just doesn't seem particularly honest about that. He's just super smug when he doesn't really know. Right? I don't know. Received criticism won't get any better. I don't think he's literally a better leftist in every way than Hassan is. So here's the thing. Okay? Here's the problem. Here's the issue. Yep. I'm listening. None of these people have read anything. They didn't read the, the tweet that I put Someone up. Sent Hussein they did not read, read the everything. fucking, uh, the, the Adam something uh, comments. I've read it all, motherfucker. <laughs> they are just simply... Like actual cackling hyenas, just yeah. I've read all, all of Adam Summers' comments. The nuclear war take. Admit, I don't know, uh, you know, a huge amount about the reality of nuclear war, but it seemed like an extremely optimistic reading of it. Um, I think it was probably, probably a bit too optimistic, I would guess. But I think his basic point is that Putin is not going to take that risk, right? That what I took away from that is not like ah yeah, nuclear war, no trouble. It's that. Okay, if nuclear war happened, it would be bad, but not as fallout, fallout, you know, nuclear winter bad, whatever. But Putin's not going to do it anyway, so it doesn't matter. That's the kind of vibe I got from it, right? And but what he took away is is like not that, but more so, you know, nuclear winter isn't all that bad, which wasn't even he didn't even talk about nuclear winter. In fact, his point seemed to suggest that there wouldn't be nuclear winter. Um, so yeah. You read the second post about Hassan's tweets calling him Hassan of a card and didn't acknowledge the fact that Hassan didn't just tweet about it but spent four hours giving commentary on Adam's video on stream that Adam didn't respond to at all. Okay, RTBA. I hereby note the work of your king in responding to a video on stream. Let it be known on the record that Adam something committed the egregious act of speaking out against the king, but not kissing the ring. <laughs> no, okay, listen, fair point. I'll take, I'll take that. Um, I would, yeah, I'd like to know what the content of that coverage was, but I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch it on stream. We're just going to end up getting too crazy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean in it, bruv. <sighs> going to the quote retweets immediately to be like, dude, you suck. And it's, it sucks. It's just like, it's all just team sports. It's all just team sports over and over and over and over and over again. Like NPCs. To sum up, Putin will threaten with nukes, but it's unlikely he will actually use them. Even if he does, though, the world won't end. Plus, your chances of survival aren't bad if the bomb wasn't dropped directly on you and you can stick it in a basement for three days. Like, this person literally thinks that this is a... Wait, I know this is one of my mutuals on Twitter. This is some... This one of my, I'm pretty sure that I recognize the PFP. They ain't cringe. They're my mutual. <laughs> a good take. They actually think this is a good take. You're such an idiot, dude. I mean, you're going to die in, in a nuclear war if it happens. And honestly, hey, you know. I 
swear Assad is such a dipshit. Isn't this dude banned? Welcome Nuclear war absolutely wouldn't Nation. kill everyone. Just go live in your ba go live in your basement and eat canned peaches for a few years. And before you know it, we'll be back to plowing fields and planting crops with a few remaining fertile patches of land in no time. Is that actually wait, is that actually destiny? Yeah, yeah. Destiny's account has got an NFT shaped logo. Thank you, Jude. Yeah, this isn't Destiny's account that posted this. No, that's not Destiny's account. That's not Destiny's account. He's had an NFT profile picture for ages. So unlucky. Yep. I figured it out, motherfuckers. That's not Destiny's account. Yeah, look, it's got a zero in. You motherfuckers doubt me. You motherfuckers doubt me. You motherfuckers doubt me. And I fucking know, okay? I am way too plugged in. I am way too fucking plugged in to be questioned. Never question me again. I know a fucking Destiny tweet when I see it, okay? I know a Destiny tweet when I see it. Normally... There's a, some, a lot of bigotry going on, okay? And yeah, someone said, there's not enough racism. There's not enough racism or transphobia in this one, okay? I was like, wait a second. Where's the, where's the bigotry? I don't think you can see it here. No, you can't see it on screen. Genuinely fake destiny tweets. Yeah, where's the mocking someone's suicide attempt? Come on, use your noggin, folks. People, people were fooled by it, though. It just doesn't read like a Destiny tweet, either. Hey, Dreadpilled. Damn. See, look, this is, he's, he's shitting on us on here. It's not even remotely appropriate. So this is actually Destiny's Twitter account. It's not even remotely appropriate for Russia to invade or shell any part of Ukraine, no matter what language laws exist. I've never advocated for this in a million fucking years. Russia has never been justified in invading Ukraine in any capacity at all. Why are you just blatantly lying about my positions under an actually thoughtful post with a personal insight that I would legitimately take seriously? What's this? But, like, you feeling bad about the Crimean annexation what? does not change the reality of the Crimean annexation being a completely justifiable fucking act by the Russian government, okay? So that's it. Hey, that's fine. That's really and Hitler invaded speak. countries based on Germanic ties this at first. Yeah, dude. Talk to me when he's fucking throwing Ukrainians in, in, a, in a fucking. Appreciate you. What are you oh, talking this about? one. Talk to me when he, he's throwing Ukrainians at a concentration camp, okay? Hitler wasn't fucking bad because he decided to invade Austria. He was bad because he was fucking killing Jews, okay? That was the problem. He wasn't like. He wasn't like, oh yeah, we're gonna fucking annex territory with like Germanic people in it. That wasn't the Welcome main problem with Nation. Hitler, I think. That was like maybe eighth down the line. Thanks for the sub, the gay agenda. But like you feeling bad about the Crimean annexation what? does not change the reality. That's gonna be a heckin' yikes from me, sweaty. What's this one? So annexation of Crimea and the war in Donbass were non invasions, got it. Donbass is different than Crimea, and Crimea is an annexation that is, in my opinion, justifiable. It is a part of Russia, okay? You might not believe it. The people of Crimea agree with it, so I don't give a fuck. I don't care about what... So... Like... <laughs> I just... I'm not going to lie, right? It's kind of... Like, I... I'm not perfect, okay? Like, obviously, I've got no doubt there's things you can point to. I, there's stuff I'd say I've made mistakes on and stuff like that, right? Um, But I just... I feel like it's just, like... You can literally not talk about something. or Like, IRI. IRI has just watched news coverage of stuff. But, like, he just feels the need to say things which aren't... Which aren't right, <laughs> His logic for it is that there's been polls since by Western NGOs with Russia hate boner that have polled the people since and they've been positive towards what Russia did. Yeah, but I don't... But the thing is, Hassan's position seems to be that the annexation was, like, justified. And my understanding is it's been condemned widely. 
Um, it's not considered to be a justified act by Russia. And again, I don't know a lot about it, right? I don't know a lot about this situation, so I don't really talk on it. Um, but yeah, I just, I just, yeah, it just seems like you're trying to justify. Like the a, a bad act with clutching at straws to find whatever you can. Anyway, let's get back to this. Chatting, but for saying you just can't take criticism. There's no shot. This is like a real account, right? QRTing to make. You oh, it's, yeah, Son did realize. Yeah. No, that normal people understand what you're saying, and it's just weird. Internet loser saying I'm smarter than everyone else. Attitude, you're good, bro. Oh, now you guys are doing it. One, that's not what he's saying. Also, that's it kind of exactly the lack of nuance he's talking about. Two billions will die. Doesn't feel like he's downplaying anything. <sighs> Doesn't feel like he's downplaying anything. Hey, chat. How are you? I just came home. Literally says Did a I nuclear war right now would not be the end of humanity. Sure, it would suck. And I mean a lot of people dying, at least a billion plus. I mean, that's just true, though. Like, I don't <laughs> I don't think it would be the end of humanity. I think that's correct. And I agree that it's, it seems somewhat optimistic, quite optimistic. But I don't... I don't, <laughs> I don't think it would be the end of humanity. Like, I don't think it would mean we get wiped out from the face of the earth. Like, what does the end of humanity mean to Hassan? You know? I don't know. And I don't know how to, I don't know how to save these people. I don't. It's already, there is a, there is now a very solid bread tuber community of people who think they're leftists or they're like sock dem or they claim that they're sock dems or whatever that straight up are just like, they've, they've, they've lost their fucking minds. It feels like. 12 months of being a certified freak has flex. And, and there's nothing I can do about it. And, it. and it hurts my fucking soul. They're in here right now. If you're in here, I truly, I truly want you to just for like a brief moment. Try to see this with just a fraction of charitability that you once probably had. Okay. I'm so why is it that we've got to give this charitability when he just keeps calling people crypto Nazis and shit? What is this? <laughs> hey, bro, you're a Nazi. Hey, fuck you, you fucking idiot. Well, I'm going to say, let's have some charitability here. <laughs> this is madness. Because if you're if you're at this stage looking at someone being like nuclear Holocaust would be fucking sick. Or not sick, but like, oh man, nuclear holocaust wouldn't be that bad. To that That's actually a good take, you fucking idiot. How do you not understand it? Just or, to find yeah, uh, actually, you lack the nuance of understanding it. why we it's have not to... The, he literally just read it! He's not saying it wouldn't be that bad. He's saying it wouldn't be the end of humanity, right? He's saying it would be bad, a billion people would die, but it doesn't mean the end of humanity. Jesus arm the nazis change and grow. i don't know what to tell you it like it's just while. you're we you've lost it you. none of what this was, of course wait justified. what was he just saying about charitability you don't even need to give charitability to adam to just literally read the words that he said and interpret them correctly what the fuck jesus nice. russia's invasion of ukraine which is unjustifiable and violent But you literally think you are looking at this from a nuanced point of view. And that's incredibly fucking sad. Like this. So many of these fucking dumbasses, dude. Hashtag left is best. Like this motherfucker has a... a, has a Congressional hey, baseball fan, Joe. Like, he's such an edgy DSA leftist. from Hassan's Vinny. point of view, 
A large portion of the billions <laughs> dying in nuclear war are poor people. Hassan has never seen those before, so they probably don't exist. Thanks anyway. a lot for the dollar. Appreciate it. Why is he... Vinny? Vinny! My, my, why is everyone going, Vinny? What's Vinny done? Vinny's just vibing. 60 follower Andy. I don't know. I mean, if he's just making content out of it, maybe it's something else. But Jesus, like... If he genuinely is going to get to him, don't let the 60 follower Andy's get to you, all right? That's just the start of trouble. Tell him to get fucked. With his little fucking rose, okay? The rose, the and little he fucking around. rose. Like, he, he's making jokes about fucking a, a congressperson getting shot in the ass, right? And he's got his little DSA rose on his fucking profile. How did this dude get to the point where while having like his little DSA rose and making these sorts of fucking jokes and probably listening to Chapo all the fucking time, how did he go from that guy, okay, to Hassan is such a disingenuous crybaby. You don't have the emotional maturity to deal with being rightly criticized or even understand the conflicts you're commenting on. Then you should sh just stick to Ben Shapiro dunking videos. Like 90 anti Chapo's in it? No, I love Chapo. But these guys are too stupid to recognize that, like, the people that they probably love... Or the people that they learned what leftism is about, which you shouldn't learn from podcasters and Twitch streamers, goddamn. Because this is what happens when you do that. Like, those people just become these, like, fucking weirdos. Oh, Vinny, you, you card. What are you up to? You naughty little Vinny. Hassan answered legit criticism challenge, literally impossible. Like, I did. I did answer the legitimate criticism. I think these people just want me to say, like, no, actually, you're right. It's totally fine and good, and there will never be blowback. Or arming right-wing paramilitaries and legitimizing them and defending them in the media in the West. Well, yeah, dude. I mean, I don't know. Like, if, it, if this is good content for him, then fair enough. Like, whatever. But um, I don't know. It just seems a bit like... I mean, I've done it from time to time. I did it a little bit yesterday. But even some people in chat were like, Chud, why are you doing this to yourself, man? <laughs> people on Twitter are the worst people to engage with on anything you want to talk about, regardless of whether you're right, wrong, or otherwise. Yeah. There will never be blowback for that. Just wait for 20 more years, and then you can act like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, this was really fucked up. Also... Can't Motherfuckers say legitimate like criticism over and over again, and it's literally just him saying, I'm a dumbass. Like, it's this guy saying, I lack the, the, the mental fortitude. You called him a fucking crypto nut. <laughs> oh, I got misinterpreted, though. I got misinterpreted. You said he was a fucking crypto nut. <laughs> it just boggles my mind that people will lash out. Fair enough, you know, talk some shit. But then someone says back, fuck you. And it's like, oh my God, <laughs> where's the good criticism? And it's like, there was actually some good critique in that. But the main point is, you, out of nowhere, <laughs> like you could have just offered critique of Adam Something's position in a legitimate way, but you reached for the N-word. You reached for that N-word. Hassan called someone the N-word. Can you believe it? Chud is pro-Nazi now. What do you mean now? ...to understand why it's actually totally reasonable to arm the Nazis and give them credence and give them legitimacy and train them. And it fucking kills me, dude. It actually kills me. I don't know how to combat it. I don't know. It's just like, you're just you're insulting me, in okay? Humanity. And you're doing so it in the dumbest way possible. And even when I show that it is stupid, these people don't understand it. It's not reading comprehension challenge, impossible difficulty. There's a reason why you don't take a person's single sentence because what they're saying may have a certain framing. In the nuclear war part, it would be worse for Russia than the West to engage in it. <laughs> that's what that's correct. That is what Adam something was saying. He was saying it's unlikely because Russia would get wiped off the face of the earth. Um, it's going to be much worse for Russia because Russia is Russia and the rest of the world is the rest of the world, whichever country he attacks. 
and that even if there was to be something like that, yes, it would be bad, but it's not going to end humanity. Like, I don't know. I don't even feel like I'm being too charitable to Adam something. That is literally, in my mind, what he fucking said. You know, yes, I think it was quite op too optimistic IMHO. Not that I know enough about it, but that gave me that vibe at least. I don't know how else to put it. But like, look at what he said and it was essentially that. Like, that's it. <laughs> Oh, hey, Dancing Spoon. He didn't we might say talk about that. that in a bit. He didn't just say that either. Sick of all these people online acting. I'm sick of all these people online acting like covering up your face is just. It should just be a normal part of like one's day to day existence. It's mental to me. What? No. <laughs> Sorry. I, listen, I don't want to get sidetracked on it now. The more you give attention to them, the more they go on. This is not good for you or anyone else, man. They won't stop. I know. I should. But have I don't time know command. what to do. I'm I don't know what to do half. here. It's Wait, like, no, yeah, I'm assuming for an hour and a half. That's it, yeah. This has hours. become my everyday existence. Where anytime, anytime I decide to push back, it, it doesn't stronger. matter. Okay? Anytime, anytime I, I defend a take or decide to, like, uh, criticize someone else, their fucking stands literally light up my shit non-fucking-stop. <laughs> you said, just call me a Turkish cockroach, boat, uh, bro. And then that one quote, the quote tweet said, okay, bet. Yeah, literally. It has gotten to a point where this is it. No matter what, no matter what, these people who think they're leftists, and that's the worst part. If they were just like, I'm a Leo neolib, the same self-preservation that Hassan argued so strongly for to defend his belief that Russia wouldn't invade is called upon a hundred times more when it comes to starting nuclear war. A people would have to be completely suicidal or consumed by hate to launch one. Well, this is like... Do you know what? Okay. This probably isn't a hot take. People's perception of this sort of thing is completely guided by media. Right? I'm telling you. I'm telling you that's what it is. People have played too much Fallout. And they, they, they think that that is what it's going to be like. And it's like, look, life ain't like the video games. Life ain't like the movies, all right? And, you know, people paint leaders as like genocidal maniacs. It's like, it's like with um, North Korea, right? People act like the North Korean fella is some, is some suicidal genocidal maniac that's just going to launch nukes for the hell of it. When that would mean the destruction of his country. You know? self There is a level of self-preservation. There is a level of self-preservation that exists. Unless you're like a complete, I don't know, like suicidal person or something like that. Um, but yeah. That little, you know, the little North Korean fella. You know, the little one. He wanders about the place. Like little scuttles about like that. Ooh. You know, he's got a little flat head. A little flat head in that. Oh, yeah, little little Kim, we we call him. I think he's I think he's like three foot seven or something like that. He's like incredibly he's incredibly short. When you see him on TV, right, what they actually have to do is they have to do like, you know, the um perception thing. They have him really they have him really far in front of the shot so he looks really big. It's all tricks of the eyes. In reality he's only three foot seven. So, yeah. Yeah, I've seen that video. I'm a shit lib, you know? I, I fucking love, you know, uh, I love markets. I love free markets. I love free markets. I'm a neocon. If they were honest about their point of view, then it's like, that's very easy to... What's this? Is this part of this or... There's so much coverage, I can't... Can't think of it all. Shreds that have ripped... The, the Middle East into fucking shreds. You know, places that are a little bit closer to me than your fucking dumbass podunk Hungarian city that you love jerking off to about its fucking, you know, institutions and, and civil engineering. Disgusting filth, dude. Eurocentrist trash.
Jesus. Cut a liberal and a fucking fascist bleeds. Sometimes maybe you don't actually reform your attitude. Oh, God. Jesus. He's not very happy, is he? <laughs> he's, not, he's, a, he's not a happy camper. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. What is going on? Okay, let's continue this anyway. To just be like, okay, well, they're fucking pathetic. They're insane. They're, they're just, you know... This corresponds to their worldview. I get it. But they're like, no, I'm a leftist. Like, I'm actually a socialist. And Hassan is fucking dumb for this take. And it pisses me off. I want to get to the Vosh stuff. That's what I'm interested in. But we'll watch this video. This is fun to watch. Can I just say, like, listen. I promise you. Okay, I promise you. I came into this and I wasn't looking to super hardcore be like critical of Hassan. I genuinely was like, okay, I've heard some stuff. Let's see what's going on. And I just have to take a check because look, I am very critical of Hassan. I've got a lot of criticism of Hassan. I'm probably, you know, pretty biased against Hassan to be really honest with you. But I just don't see how else you can interpret this or look at this, you know? Like I'm happy to say things that I think Adam something that I disagree with or he's done wrong. You know, I mean, like, you know, like I say, there's, I read it and I think, oh, well, I think this is a bit optimistic, but like, it just does, it just seems like Hassan is really just fucking this up again. <laughs> right? What's this? Am I missing something? I'm a shit lib, you know? I, I fucking love, you know, uh, I love markets. I love free markets. I love free markets. Oh my God. <laughs> read his tweets. I've read his tweets. His tweets fucking suck. Except for the one about um, prisons. Welcome to Chud Nation. Yo, Atomic Adman. Thank you for the sub. And it feels like I'm being, like, being effectively oh, okay. gaslit by thousands of people every day is not something that I can just uh, take lightly. The way I discovered your Twitch stream was through Ben Shapiro. People think the I market is rich for leftist creators, but it's only... Only rich people who claim to be leftists, but just repeat MSNBC and edgier ways. I mean, that's a Glenn Greenwald, Wait. Greenwald take, but it's true. It's Holy okay fuck. Rowdy, Hassan. Get them. I don't, yeah, I mean, where's the, what gaslighting is happening? Like, <laughs> And also, just to be clear as well, just to be clear too, his perspective, so... Let, I've not watched any of the content, but let me guess. Adam something is probably being critical of the um, Gravel Institute because the Gravel Institute are talking about Azov Battalion, but doing it in such a way as to paint the picture that there's like an absolute ton of vicious neo-Nazis in Ukraine and that, that means this needs to happen. Da, da, da. So basically, um, Gravel, the Gravel Institute are probably over-egging the pudding and talking about the Nazi problem in Ukraine and particularly as a battalion. Adam something is saying, hey, this is a bit excessive. This isn't quite correct. This isn't quite true. This is the reality of Azov Battalion. Welcome to Chud Nation. And then Hassan is going, oh no, Azov Battalion is bad. Like something like that, right? Is that roughly it? Well, after we've covered this segment, because I don't want it to be in the YouTube video itself. But we'll watch, we'll watch Adam Something's video after this, okay? Like, I'm right. I know I'm right. And I'm making the appropriate points. And it's just completely bouncing off of people. And it hurts my very soul. Because my entire point... My pension pogo? Yeah, can we just can we just point something out, right? The Gravel Institute was like, "Oh, Prager, you sucks. We're going to be an alternative to Prager you for the left." Well, they're not an alternative. They are Prager you of the left. <laughs> they are Prager you of the left. Like as simple as that. I watched a video they did about Bitcoin, and then a social, an actual socialist um, person who who is like not quite as skeptical about the blockchain as other people are came on and talked about it. And yeah, like, 
even stuff where it's like talking about Bitcoin, there's even like a socialist Bitcoin, not Bitcoin person, but blockchain person that agree, disagrees with it, you know? But yeah, I'm not like, you know, there was one. So it's funny, actually. I saw a vid video about the Irish famine and I thought, oh, I'll give that a watch. That might be interesting. But I don't know. I'm a bit like a bit skeptical of, of like watching on stream because I'm like, what if they get something wrong? Um, I don't want to have to like debunk something. I don't really know enough about it. Did they manage to spin the Irish famine as the US's fault? Well, no, because they can blame England, I guess. I don't know. Entire goal is to be able to change. Hey, thanks mind. for the bits, SAC. And hey, we got a hype train. Let's I, go. I understand that human beings are hypocritical and all that, but I still try to maintain a level of consistency. And I think I do a pretty good I job what Trump has to of maintaining said consistency. And no matter what happens, it's like there are people uh, that are always just going to have this point of view. They're just never going to listen to what I have to say. And it sucks. Like this idea that the proper leftist position in this situation is to Everybody totally justify the American, like uh, the American the actions gaming. is insane. Gaming That's not the proper leftist position. Just don't say you're a leftist. Yeah, come on. Listen, I'm Jude, Jude is a big Hassan fan. He's got a Hassan tattoo. And he's saying there, if you're going to get so mad as a Hassan fan, if you get me to level five. I just, look, I know people are so, so oh my God. Ugh. Like, listen, maybe you're going to think I'm being a bit soft, but I genuinely just think it's important to recognize that, yeah, it's, it's like, he is going to get shit. And I just think we've got to just at least recognize that there is going to be a level of shit he gets, okay? Thanks again, Anon, for the 300 bits. That being said, though, yeah, I just think, I just think that, I just think that he really needs to just tone back sometimes being so confident about topics he's not like like I'm sh there is stuff he can talk about which I'm sure he's got some knowledge in a lot of these big creators have a problem with just saying I don't know or I need to do more research sure and there's the, the obviously the issue of being incentivized to just give takes because you make money anyway but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just think it's important sometimes to just go, hey, I don't really know much about that. I'm not really equipped to talk about that or whatever it is, you know? Um, and I think everyone's got things they are going to have some knowledge on that they can talk about. Picking up girls. It's why I don't really speak about foreign policy because I just genuinely do not have the requisite knowledge. And I, I'm not well, interested in learning. Oh my God. And Anon Gifter just gifted 10 subs. Holy moly. Thank you. Appreciate you. That's super generous. You know, like there's obviously some topics I can't speak on, some topics I can't, and I try and stick to the ones that I know a bit about. And, you know, if I do want to give a take that I'm not certain about the every, every relevant detail, I'll try and make that clear so people know that, hey, Judge just kind of flying off the cuff a little bit. You're at level three, going up to level four. So yeah, I don't know. I just I just want I just want it to be noted that like Hassan does get a lot of shit. So just just like bear that in mind. Like don't go too fucking ballistic in terms of like like even if it's good criticism a thousand times it's going to be fucking annoying, okay? Um that being said, yeah, I do just think he just needs to tone back on some of the certainty with some of the things he says sometimes, you know? I'm fine that's, with that. Like it. if if these people are not and I don't think they are I'm totally fine with that. You know what I mean? It makes it... I wrestle weebs. Are you saying he deserves it? You're not going to make me tap the sign of you. Welcome to Chud. You're not going to make me tap the sign of you. Don't make me tap the fucking sign. I don't want to tap the sign. <laughs> hey, SAC, thanks for the sub. Dodgy calf, thanks for the bits. I don't want to tap the sign. I'm not doing it, okay? It makes it so much, so much more understandable. Just say what you are. You're not a liberal. You're not even a liberal half the fucking time. Some of you are just straight conservative. Anyway, to hey, Anakin, but thank you for the tier two sub. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Look, I'm saying all this now. And as I mentioned before. Wait, why are you lenient on Hassan? Wait.
<laughs> Hang on a sec. Chugga chugga choo choo. Hey, thanks for the bits, Catch your Butterfly. Did you really just say I'm leaning on Hassan? I, I, do I need to bring up my YouTube channel? <laughs> I think that's, I think that's a little bit of a fucking, uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure about that one. I'm not sure people would uh, agree with you on that one, particularly Hassan fans. <laughs> what was it I said on that panel to try and get everyone's attention? What was it? Wait, what was it I said on that panel? What about when Hassan abused that trans person in his chat? <laughs> Just to try and get their attention. Oh my God. And on with 10 gifted subs. Thank you. Appreciate that. Generous benefactor. You're the only political who, uh, streamer who doesn't have sub only chat. It's really weird to watch other. You're the only political streamer who doesn't have sub only chat. <laughs> Look, you can see it here. Man. You're the only political streamer who doesn't have sub-only chat. It's really weird to watch other streams where everyone agrees on the same topics. What the fuck is he talking about? What political streamer has got sub-only chat? Most political streamers are like, you know, 30, 40, 50 viewer Andes. Why would they have, have sub-only chat mode? There'd be like 10 people talking probably or fucking whatever. Like, it's pointless. Follower only, maybe, but what difference does that make? Some people have that to stop harassment and shit. This chat, this, so, you know, <laughs> people have been complaining about my chat because it's so fractious these days. The reason I don't jump into his chat now is why I don't jump into Relly's chat. And like, I used to, you guys know, I used to be a daily Relly frog in the chat. I'll watch Relly, but I used to be in his chat on the daily. Um... But I just got I got tired of like how contentious it made me feel it, it, like I I always felt like I was on the defensive, right? Like if I put something in his chat, I'd have to be ready to defend it. That's what it felt like to me. And Chud's chat is starting to feel like that, too, which, you know, is fine. Like, yeah, I agree. But the thing is, is I want it to be like that. Right. I. I the best decisions I've made recently are number one, giving a bit more flexibility on my discord to get a bit spicier. And number two, you know, moving towards a chat that's a lot more more free, that I'm more permissive of stuff in. And the thing is as well is like, because had, I've had this the entire time I've been streaming, right? You go from being like a 10 viewer Andy to a 50 viewer Andy. And people are like, oh God, it's not what it used to be. Chat's moving faster now. I liked it when it was only 10 viewers. You go from 50 to 100. Oh, it's not like it was when it was 50, 100 to 200, and it goes on, it goes on, it goes on, right? The reality is, as your stream grows and as your chat grows, it's going to become more, you know, difficult to contend with. Um, and, yeah, that's just the reality of it, you know? Yeah, like before, I'd probably read every single comment. Like, I remember one time someone came in and was annoyed that I wasn't reading their comments, and I'm just like, well... Write better comments then. I don't know what to tell you. I'm going to stop looking at chat because you're pissing me off now. <laughs> I saw some stuff on Twitter that was talking about Azov Battalion being, like, destroyed or something. But that was literally just Twitter. And at the time, I looked on the on the Google's webs and I couldn't find it. Take my sub. You deserve it more than the sun. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. But obviously, support what you want to support. Cuck logic. That's me, baby. If there's a wife knocking about somewhere... The first thing I'm thinking is, when can I watch them get fucked? You're exactly right. Other streams where everyone agrees on the same topics? Yeah, I mean... It's high. I mean, listen, that's... I can't speak for other political streamers. I don't know what they do, but... <sighs> it isn't your job to change their minds. It's your job to bring awareness to facts and let people decide for themselves if they want to change. I mean, I would hope that they would be... I would hope that they would be a little bit more fucking nuanced in this situation. I, I would hope that they'd be a little bit more open-minded, you know? Where's the Vosh stuff? And there was a point in time when I could have potentially had a conversation with Adam something, but, like, not after that fucking absolutely baboon take that he put out there uh, about me being uh, too stupid to understand the nuance of arming Nazis. I mean, I was going to talk to him, and then he said a few mean things about me, and then I'm not going to bother. How, that's pathetic. Come on. Just because he's fucking been a bit spicy with you. <laughs> he had that conservative fella around. 
<laughs> he had that conservative fella around I'm in his house. I'm sure that he disagreed with the conservative fella more than he does with Adam something. But no, because Adam something got a bit spicy. <laughs> Jesus. Or being too stupid to understand the nuance of fucking, you know, nuclear fallout, not killing everybody. Like, don't worry, only a billion people will die. If they are good faith, Hassan always gives people time. Wrong! 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 That FD signifier fella who was trying to suckle up to Hassan's teat tweeted out, at Hassan Piker, whatever, let's chop it up sometime. Hassan responded to it on stream and said he wants to talk about the break bros. I'm not interested. And it was one of those cringe moments where someone was trying to suckle up to his teeth and Hassan went, no, I'm not interested. So you're full of shit. You're full of shit. And then people say it's like totally fucking condescending. Uh, like, that total condescending bullshit is like nuanced criticism. I don't agree with those attacking you, but I think a big part of you was you were not charitable with people who thought Russia would invade. You apologize and they should accept it, but they can't get past it. Yeah, I mean, I, I apologize for fucking uh, saying I was wrong. I mean, I apologize for uh, being wrong about uh, Russia's invasion. Um, I probably should have never done that, you know? What the fuck? Holy shit. I mean... Well, I think he gets to it here. Yeah, look, it looks like he gets to it here, I think. We'll just stick around. I, I want to be able to change those people's minds, too. The people that disagree with me, I want to change their minds. But, like, how will I change the mind of someone who just says this? Like... You are such a Joshua Griffin, Josh Twenty Left. You are such a dishonest piece of shit, Lamau. <laughs> Twenty three mostly replies or retweets. Market slash democratic socialist. Social democracy is also kind of cool. What? This is Prevail so Institute, weird. Good or bad? How the fuck is Henry Kissinger still alive, Lamau? Why do you hate Henry Kissinger? <laughs> this is so weird. You just get up some random fellas' tweets on stream. What the fuck? Why is he doing this? Who even is this person? Joshua Griffin. Wait! Yeah. Joshua Griffin, is that really you? Is that you? Seriously? Oh my god. That's so funny that you're in chat. No way. That's crazy. That's funny. No disrespect meant, by the way. I'm not saying that, like, you know, I'm trying to be mean. But, like, what I mean is you're not, like, a, you know... You're not like a, a, a prominent kind of content creator. I can understand it if you bought a Vosh and was saying stuff about what Vosh was tweeting. But it just seems kind of weird to bring up someone who, you know, does, isn't like a, a, a prominent figure in the content creation space and just kind of being like, oh, look at what this... Oh, what? <laughs> Henry Kissinger? Da, da, da. Like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. Chill out. You're... you're I don't understand. Like, if I'm a dishonest piece of shit, Henry Kissinger loved arming fucking reactionary forces, you know? Yeah, isn't this, like, what he... Like... <laughs> isn't this what he criticizes other people for doing when it comes to... Like, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, this is just... It's... Mm, I don't know. Does it? Would he criticize someone else for doing this? It feels like he would, but I can't say for sure off the top of my head. It feels like he would, but I don't want to say certainly. That was kind of his thing. Why, why do you hate him if you love him, if you love what he would have done here? Like that, do you see what I mean? Do you see, do you understand what I mean? Do you get it? Well, it was great. So like we agree on the trans thing, okay. So what is it? Like what, what is up with this dude? I need to understand, like, because something oh, does not make sense. He just tweeted, he's reading my tweets, get fucked, he's a little troll. Is that what it is? It's just like people are exclusively doing it so they can get like a crumb of attention. Is that what it is? The slippery Vosh slope. I need to understand it. One day you will understand that Vosh fans are not on your side. I get it, but like they were my fans first and then they became Vosh fans. You know what I mean? What like what, what community did Vosh come out of? Yeah, Destiny's community, but also like I hyped them up when he was fucking Irish laddie as well. You know what I mean? Is that true? I... <laughs> I don't, I don't remember any time of Hassan. Wait, when did Hassan start streaming? Vosh, Vosh started streaming what? Late 2018, early 2019. And when did Hassan start streaming? The timeline doesn't add up. March 2018. Well, Vosh started streaming as Vosh late 2018, I think, if I remember correctly. This sounds like fucking bullshit. <laughs> 
Bosch never streamed as Irish Laddie. He was only on other people's streams. He first, uh, mind, I think, and then I believe he first started making content as Vosh. He did have Irish Laddie. No, no, no. Vosh streamed as Vosh on Twitch. He didn't stream as Irish Laddie. As Irish Laddie, he went on other people's streams. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a bit skeptical about that. So, a lot of those motherfuckers came from here. Okay? So, what's up? Mm. How did that happen? I don't know. That's the thing. Like, how? How do you get to a point where you're like, I agree with literally everything you say, but I just think you're bad. Personally. I agree with everything you say. But I just personally think you're bad. It's not correct to say you don't share any fans with them. There's a lot of crossover. Of course, dude. Of course. Of course there's a lot of crossover. I get it. You stop being punk rock once you got thank you for all the news coverage uh, once you got successful Appreciate because this is what so being a stand is about unconditional support that's it yeah but like Bosch makes a, a lot of money too what's up is it is it true that H bomber guy blocked Vosh on Twitter am I correct in saying that I heard a rumor I hear that Vosh has been uh, excised from the greater breadship community that's what Vosh said. Right, yeah. I didn't hear it from Vosh. I heard it from someone else, but... Hassan and H Bomber guy did talk to Irish Laddie. They literally said he should start a YouTube channel. That's mental. I remember when H Bomber guy spoke to Destiny once on stream. Yeah, I know that Irish Laddie... Vosh's Irish Laddie went on Destiny's stream. But I'm just saying that it's a bit weird for Hassan to somewhat take credit for it, you know? Like, to the level he's doing. I think part of the problem is that you're a bit socially isolated on the political commentary side. You collaborate with Twitch streamers, but rarely collaborate on the political commentary side. I think that would help you fight a bit, help you a bit with fighting back against this shit. Oh, Lagoon yeah, City. Like sorry, I, I got it. Sorry. Culture in the political no, no, sorry. I misunderstood. I got it now. Side. I hate it. I despise it. Right, chat. You have been absolute legends in linking me this video, which I believe we're going to watch next. Wait. No, this, it's here. It's here. Okay. Five hours based response when does he get into it was it just that we were watching i look inwards every day like all the above all the pokey defenders won't mention why gideon doesn't like her aka the n-word video doesn't seem like you care about racism how do you feel about everyone shutting up about racism for 2022 it almost seems like you're using absolutely I feel like did you link the right timestamp? was it the time america there? bad versus absolutely go. has become that as well for the record straight up like, I mean, dude, look, look at this. 1,000 upvotes, dude. Adam something's response to Hasanabi. 1,000 upvotes. This is supposedly leftist stream, dude. Leftist streamer, leftist community. The Virgin America bad versus Hassan the Giga Chat America isn't the center of the world, Adam something. Like, this is where these motherfuckers are coming. Wait, wait a second, though. Like, this is, what is, literally, what is wrong with this? This is Vosh's subreddit, right? Vosh's community have got, like, something of an affinity for Hassan. They're not completely against him. It's probably gotten a little bit more fractious recently with some of the recent discourse and takes, right? Um, and there has been a bit more criticism coming out of Vosh's community. But the reality is, like, I don't think... If you're going to get criticism, this is about as good as you're going to get from the left. I don't think, unless you're literally going to Hassan's community, I don't, th I don't think that you're going to get much better than going to somewhere like Vosh's subreddit. If you think I'm wrong, let me know. But I think that's a pretty reasonable view of the matter, right? So, yeah, this is a bit weird to me. Like, it seems like this is probably going to be fairly legit. Coming from, okay? This. What is this? Don't miss. He's being nice here. <laughs> It's literally someone expressing that they agree with Adam something. Saying he don't miss is basically saying, I agree with this person, right? So Hassan is getting mad at someone going, I agree with what this person's saying. Oh my fucking God, this is unreal. Europe really isn't that fucking complex. I mean, come on, dude. A thousand upvotes in fucking five hours? <laughs> Based response. <laughs> is so That's what we're doing now. This is what's going on. I mean, oh it's not God. that complex. I know where it's coming from. I know exactly where this fucking shit's coming from. Oh and I know no! Who's doing it. Oh no! Oh! 
Oh no! <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. Listen, <laughs> I keep my eye on like the various different subreddits of different streamers. I like having a little look. You know, like business people, they wake up in the morning and they've got like their like business times, financial times, business insider, and they just kind of flick through the to get a little taste of what's going on on the day, right? When I wake up, it's basically like that for me, but I'm just scanning through different, like, I'm going on Twitter, looking at a few different subreddits, seeing what the top stories are. You know, it's kind of a bit like that. You know what I mean? It's like, it's a kind of similar thing. And what I would say is that I feel like Vosh's subreddit has has got more coverage of this than Destiny's subreddit has done. Because obviously Destiny's subreddit, what do you think Destiny's subreddit has been talking about mainly for the last two days? It's mainly DGGers that sound like they're going to fucking Roblox themselves. Like, it's so many people, like, you know, posting a eulogy about Destiny leaving Twitch and shit like that, you know? And I'm just like, and I'm just like, jeez, like, you know, f fair enough. I'm not really trying to be critical of that. I'm just memeing a bit. But if you feel an emotional thing about it, you know, I'm not trying to be harsh to you. But the point that I'm making is just that Destiny's subreddit has been otherwise indisposed. The idea that this is DGGers is insane cope. Is there some crossover between Vosh's subreddit and De Destiny's subreddit? Yeah, sure, of course there is, right? But the idea that this is like some Daliban infiltration operation is literally stupid, okay? And that's where these memes come from. That's where these stupid memes come from. Is because people act like this. You know, he's acting like, I don't know. Let's just fucking carry on. I don't want to say anything too spicy. I used to watch Hassan every day. I stopped watching him once the Ukraine stuff went down. How could someone be so blind? He chappelled himself, going out of pocket for something out of his depth. You can watch Hassan's coverage of the last Israel-Palestine situation and see that something he actually knows about versus the Ma Azov State Department NATO bad Ukraine takes. Actually, I can't even watch that because it shows his hypocrisy even more. He believes in BDS for Israel, but thinks it's barbaric against Russia. He thinks we shouldn't give things to Ukraine because they end up with Azov. But it's crazy to say that we... Listen, bro. Okay? This is how it goes. It will be given to Hamas. First of all, the aid is not just going to Azov. We're not giving guns to Hamas. Like, it, it's crazy. You don't platform their toxicity, they propagate the hate and allow it for it to fester and rot. I mean, that's crazy. This, he confidently supports the wrong side in both conflicts. So this guy is, of course, uh, a supporter of of Israel and Azov. Like, what's going on? Wait, didn't this guy didn't this guy get banned off of LSF to stop himself from doing this because he's got no self control and he just can't stop himself from looking at it? And now he's just doing the thing because he knows people are criticizing him on Vosh's subreddit. The guy's a fucking idiot. I mean, you know, at what point do you say, "Come on, bro"? Like, you know, it's like an addict. It's like an addict. At some point, you got to go. Look, man, we've given you all the help you can, but Jesus. At some point, you got to try and, you know, you got to try. <laughs> it's not good for him, no. It doesn't help anyone. Yeah, like, honestly, if you want criticism, the best people you're going to get it from is the people that are closest to you that are willing to tell you, okay? So let me give you an example of this, right? I spoke to Supreme the other day, and we started talking about my Tom Zoo clip, right? <laughs> And Supreme was like, I was very critical of you for that on stream, actually. You know, I thought it was just purely, purely racist. There wasn't any joke there. I'm going to be honest. I did kind of start laughing. Not at him, but just it was just a funny moment, you know. Because I was like, thank you for keeping me. Thank you for keeping me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> but it was a good meme. But in any case, like, you know. Um, I'm, I'm always up for, um, like if I want, the thing is, if you just rely on random people, you're going to, you're not going to get anywhere. Right. But you have people that are close to you, you know, and listen, chat obviously can be a bit shit sometimes. Chat sometimes does say stuff that is fair enough and I'll, you know, take it on board if I'm not totally raging, but certainly like having other content creators or people you trust. Like one example yesterday something happened and I just wanted to run it by someone to see, to gauge if my reaction was, was legitimate or not. And they said to me, I think you're overreacting a bit, just chill. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And I moved on. Right. So I think that it's important sometimes just to get that little bit of like, this is how I feel. Like, what do you think? 
and they'll tell you either way and then you can kind of go from there, right? It's really important to have those people because otherwise, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Hassan would have people around him. Maybe he's just surrounded by yes men. I don't know. But going to Reddit is the worst place to go, honestly. What's happening? Hassan is reacting to the video right now, and of course his arguments are trash. To be fair, Adam Something's take on nuclear war is dog shit. And his excuse for allowing racism, sexism, and I'm assuming transphobia is allowed to go well on his Discord is dumb as fuck. Now, the above mentioned shouldn't steer people away from Adam. What I'm trying to say is, bad takes should not, you know, everyone has bad takes. Hassan already owned up to the Ukraine invasion take. What Adam is still allowing those stuff to go on in his community, and he was an alt-right person before. Just a few moments ago, he basically said that Russian imperialism is better than American imperialism. I'm having a hard time finding the words to express this contempt. That's not what I said. I said that American imperialism is more damaging than Russian imperialism because Russia doesn't have the power that America can do. Uh, Russia does not have the fraction of the power that America can months. engage in on a daily basis. So that, for example... Is that, is that true? Well, what, what does he mean by power? Like Russia's got Russia's got like quite a um like listen, again, I'm not an expert on geopolitics and shit. Um But I'm pretty sure that Russia have got like a, a big old swinging dick. And maybe like America's swinging dick is eight inches, but Russia's is seven inches, right? Like it, you know, if we looked at it like that. That's my that's how I would view it in a very simple term. Do you agree with my, my dick analogy? Is that right? Or Russia's... Okay, it might be smaller. Maybe I'm overestimating. Maybe I'm looking at Putin and overestimating the bulge, the trouser bulge, but you know what I'm trying to get at. Bro, I've... Oh, hey. Hey, Wood Duck. I've been um, subscribed to Hassan for two years, but this Ukraine shit is so fucking stupid. The amount of absolute dumb shit he says is driving me crazy. You're going to leave that community. Well, listen, mate. Do as you please. Do as you wish. Um... If you can, maybe try and give it a chance if you like the community otherwise. But yeah, I appreciate bad takes can be frustrating. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know enough about it to really say, but it seems like a bit of a reductive take. I think there's more to it than that. And Russia is a nuclear power, right? Like, he's saying about how America Welcome is so fucking amazing. Hey, the Wood Duck, thanks for the sub. But like, America is not... Like, like if you look at this current situation, America is playing very... My understanding, America is playing quite softable, Right. Like, they haven't really, you know, apart from providing aid, weapons, resources, etc., they haven't taken any strong military action beyond that. And they're playing softball because they're worried about Russia's um, nuclear capability, right? Sanctions as well, sorry, obviously sanctions too. But that's, but that, you know, it just strikes me that if America was uh, as powerful as, as Assan is saying here, they'd just be able to take a lot stronger action and, and not have to worry about it. I, I don't know. That's my perception of it anyway. That, that in and of itself, that's a perfect example of someone just going, whoosh, whiffing it, just did not understand anything I said there. Did not understand anything I said there at all. He thought I meant actually Russian imperialism good, okay? I did not say that. Russian imperialism is, of course, bad. Imperialism is bad. I'm an anti-imperialist. Russia does not have the fraction of the power that America has to conduct the same level of imperial operations. And not only that, but also if they did, they could maybe be worse than America. But as it stands, they are not. Because they don't have the capacity to. But hey, that's it. 21 people were like, that's the take. I love that. He started calling Adam a Nazi, not even an apologist, a flat-out Nazi when he saw the post law. Then I got banned from his chat for asking yeah, clarification. Oh, well, Azan's Ukraine takes have made me less interested in watching anyway. Suck everyone. my dick. He didn't Jesus. come out of nowhere. I hyped him up, you fucking idiots. Holy shit, the takedown wasn't really a takedown, but he sure felt like one. Adam is really a smart dude and essentially good at articulating thoughts in a concise manner. Man, I'm happy I found him. That's not even a takedown. Bad. This might be the most thorough destruction by words I've ever seen, dude. These are such Marvel fan base, soy facing bug men. I, I've never read comments like this in my entire life. They are so like, ah, oh, base it, base it. What a thorough takedown, my good sir.
Epic bacon. Damn. What is going on? Huh? Gives him no insight into Soviet history. Adam something's insight into Soviet history is Russia always bad, USSR bad, pretty standard liberal. <sighs> it's crazy to me, man. It's crazy that, oh, wow, Soviets are colonies now. Way to go. Great insight from yourself, too. Like, it's... <laughs> It's just so st stunning to me that the whole point of getting banned from LSF was to stop this shit. And then he's doing it with Osh's subreddit because he's had a few people that have criticized him and disagreed with him. Not read any of it or not mentions DGG and take. Wait, where he's colossally fucking up is either blame DGG and dismiss it out of the whole cloth and not read any of it. Or not mention DGG and take each one of the merits of each comment, which can't you know, but don't do both. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Honestly, like if he's if he's getting his bag and he's enjoying it, like good luck to him, I guess. But it just strikes like it feels like this is a bit more real. Like I can't help but feel like he genuinely is reading this. You know, we've all done it. We've all looked at like shitty things people say about you and be like, okay, it's best to try and avoid it where you can. Honestly, uh, you know, I don't know. But obviously, avoid talking about stuff that you ain't got bad takes on. Am I crazy? Or yesterday did I watch a bit of a hard stream? And basically, um, Haas was watching and was like, kind of, somewhat praising Hassan. Hassan simps for the USSR, like people simp for the Confederacy. Stop praising the flag and failed state. You lost. Move the fuck on. Sounds like Hasbro. Yes, the whole point was. He was doing some booty smooches. What Haas was to Hassan? Was he doing some booty smooches? He's really. That would that I I just I don't know I didn't watch it but I I I looked at it and I thought I bet ours is sucking up to Asan here a little bit. Because and it's funny because like Hassan because Haz was Haz has sucked off um Hassan before on some of his takes and Hassan walked it back and he said I can't believe I trusted you or something like that. Yeah. This goes hard. The best analysis and roast of Hassan I've ever seen. Oh my god. Who gives a shit what Redditors think anyway? Redditors are subhuman. Like, who fucking cares? I'm sorry to all my American comrades, but he kind of has a point about some American lefties being very narrow-minded and only seeing the world through an American lens. Don't be. This lesson has been a very, very long time coming for us. The American left's response to this whole crisis has been abysmal. Yeah. Actually, what the American left's response to this crisis should have been, we love America. America's doing a great job. Please give more javelin missiles and train more fucking Nazis, actually. Awesome. Um, I think that, wait. I, wait. I, no, I think this was posted on Assange's Discord to his own community. These are leftists, man. These are leftists. This is the American left. The American left is currently running defense for... Literally fucking as of Nazis and attacking a content creator on the left who literally despises Russia's actions in Ukraine. But it's over. I am in their eyes. I'm like straight up a fucking pro Russia guy, pro imperialism, pro Russia, love Russia so much. They they will never not see that. I could go to fucking Ukraine and pick up arms and and fight. And defend it. And also, like, I'm didn't... sorry. This narrative of, of lefties dis defending Azov, Azov Battalion. Are there some people who do cringe posting and stuff, and they do the the Reddit Marvel shit about Ukraine? Yes, I've, I've spoken about that a lot before, right? However, I think that like the issue is people point to Azov Battalion as a justification in and of itself for Russia's actions, right? So, are there some people that are unironically defending Azov Battalion and shit? Probably, yeah. But I think most people are just like, hey, Azov Battalion suck. But, like, what, what is that, you know? Like, the amount of people I've seen who on Twitter who are just sharing, like, Azov Battalion and Nazis, Azov Battalion and Nazis. It's like, yeah, but what does that mean? Like, do you know what I mean? Didn't fight hard enough. Do they think that like America is like a little baby tiger in the corner, like a little baby pussy cat or something? Because V made many videos slandering you out of ignorance too. I guess. I guess that's how it works. This is this is also okay. 
This is also like American exceptionalism brain as well, right? Do America have a vested interest in what's going on to some degree? Of course they do. They've got an interest in global affairs, um, you know, and all this other shit. Yeah, obviously they've got a vested interest in the outcome in Ukraine. But I just, I feel like he's making out like America's role in this is much bigger than it actually is. Whereas the reality, I think, is probably more so that America really aren't, aren't doing enough. Like there's been criticisms of America for not doing enough to help Ukraine. Because because the hands are somewhat tied, right? Because Ukraine isn't in NATO, they've got no real obligation to defend Ukraine. Like they haven't got like a, a like a official obligation to do so, right? They've just got more of a they're our allies, so we need to like somewhat help them. Um, but the risk is if we go too far with it, it's going to be seen as an act of aggression by Russia. That could lead to us and Russia. It's like it's like old Cold War shit almost, right? It's like almost like old Cold War shit. But even less so, America's involvement is apparent in this, you know? Um, I don't know. Like, that's my perspective on it without being an expert. But, yeah, this is just American exceptionalism, I think, personally. Very Amer American-centric viewpoint. The intellectual giants, the titans. Like I, feel like, I feel like people talk about American imperialism and shit, right? And they talk about American aggression. And it's like... Hang on a sec. It's Russia. Wait a sec, though. Russia is the one that's invaded, right? Yep. Russia's the one that's doing the shit. Yep. America hasn't sent any troops in. No. Nope. <laughs> like, so why are you so focused on America? I get that they're a big power and influence and all this other stuff. But like, it's, you know, the dismissal of, of Russian shit going on and focusing on America. I don't know. This isn't even about Assad necessarily. It's a broader conversation. But yeah, I think people do overstate what's, you know, and it is rooted in the American bad stuff. And it, yeah, it, ju it just, yeah, it comes across as America bad. Look, <laughs> America bad, okay? Obviously. But like, can we just be a bit more like, you know, broad in our perspectives here? Like, it's, I, I feel like, I feel like we can be a bit smarter than just to be like America bad, right? I'm definitely taking a day off, but I'm sick and tired of this. I'm, I'm not going to be live tomorrow. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, look, listen. Looking after, listen, looking after your mental health is important, okay? After you just spent the past 10 minutes molding about some Reddit comments, okay? It's very important. I Like, listen, I'm I don't want to be too harsh. I, I understand, like I say, there is a lot of it, but fuck it, come on. Like, at what point do you just go, do you know what? I don't need to do this. I don't need to do this to myself. I don't need to look at all these cringe Reddit posters saying shit about me. Um, the Bro, second you had a bad take on Ukraine and V shit on you for it, his entire community took it as a green light to just shit on you relentlessly. They were never your supporters in the first place. They were just watching their daddy V to give them the green light to shit on you. Um... Yeah, I American left, not the progressive left. That's what I'm talking about. It's just like it's disgusting. I despise it. Um, none of this is literally a fucking list of burn centers in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fucking that was such a good meme, list of bird centers. And it bothered him as well. And it bothered him a little bit too. You know you've you know you've hit the pay dirt when they're like, oh, List of burn sent like, you know you fucking got under their skin a little bit, which is what it's all about. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is not a leftist yeah. community at all, for the record. I don't know. I really thought so. What? I reached out to Vosh earlier today. I was like, listen, dude, I see I see something going on that I don't like. I'm letting you know it's a fucking never ending death spiral. It will turn out bad if you just like allow this kind of shit to foster. So, okay, right, I've not, I, we're going to look into this a little bit. Maybe there's a bit more to get into here. But first of all, my understanding is that, number one, Hassan treats Vosh, no, Vosh treats Hassan with kid gloves, more or less. And also, hasn't Vosh's subreddit actually taken some action to try and deal with this too? I'm, maybe I'm mistaken on that. I'll be corrected if I'm wrong. But I think that Vosh's subreddit have taken some action, though. And he was like, he was literally like, yeah, no, fuck off. Like, these were legitimate criticisms. I was like, bro, they were literally clipping shit from my Twitter where I was criticizing Russia to make it seem like I was pro-Russia. Maybe I'm wrong. How is that in any way, shape, or form fucking legitimate criticism?
You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you're. I think he's. I still think he has like ideologically uh, progressive values. Uh, I just don't think that this is anything but uh, just people literally just saying this is the fuck Hassan. If V Hassan's liked you, I'd be concerned that the Hassan isn't leftist enough. People were correct. V isn't and has never been allowed this. I mean, look, this is this is the thing. These people unironically are running around making it seem like being a leftist or being a socialist is about like, I don't know, the aesthetics of of fucking uh someone writing a long post of of being like Hassan is too stupid to understand the complexities and nuances oh of God. arming Nazis when even Vosh himself is not a fan or fond of the Azov battalion and has Jesus. made numerous jokes about the Azov battalion people getting murdered so even his community does not comprehend it but I guess it doesn't matter because Vosh is like uncritically and unequivocally on the side of Ukraine they don't see me as that so when I say anything it's like you know you officially made it on Twitter and Paul moment. Crazy ass moments in American politics. So we, listen, we know my, listen, I just hate politicians. I've got no other politics. Okay. I can't stand this shit. I'm just going to say it like it is. I fucking hate politicians. Okay. Among us with Ihonomar Hassan and Pokimane. Oh shit. Look at that. I do like this account. They have some funny shit. <laughs> look at this praxis. Soy. I don't know. I just find it a bit cringe. Anyway, I don't want to dwell on that. It is what it is. Okay, so we got a little bit of juice. Let's see what Vosh had to say about this. Let's see what old Voshy boy's got to say. Here we go, folks. Speaking of people who do this worse, Hassan. Um, Hassan, look, at the end of the day, the majority of the things that Hassan believes and stands for and argues for are things that I will agree with. The problem is that Hassan has absolutely no mechanism whatsoever for recognizing criticism. Absolutely none. He just, he doesn't. He has no such mechanism. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that he can treat, I, I don't think he can recognize criticism as good faith. I don't think he can. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know what, like, pre-existing biases are feeding into this. If it's all just, like, DGG I mean, I agree with harassment the... stuff or oh, whatever, wait. but... <laughs> When I, f I, I feel like I'm crazy. I feel like, I feel like I've got a pretty nuanced take when it comes to talking about DGG and the different kind of factions or, or size of Destiny's community. But then I hear other lefties talk about it and they just say like DGG harassment. And to me, that doesn't really mean anything because, um, you've like, that would suggest that the, 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 the stream chat is engaging in harassment, but you've got three main, well, through four main communities, I guess, that I would point to, which form the broader destiny community you have what i would call dgg which is the website chat okay that is its kind of own community in itself that has crossover with the other communities but it is its own thing you've got the subreddit you've got the youtube viewers like youtube commentators and then you've got the twitter presence and I feel like those are kind of like different disparate groups and there's different criticisms to make, et cetera, et cetera, different things to talk, to talk about. And I don't know. It just seems a bit weird. Like any harassment that Assam would get, I would argue would probably be, if you want to call it that, anything that Assam would get would probably probably be on the Reddit, I guess, or something like that. Maybe somewhat on Twitter. I don't. I don't know. It's just difficult for me to conceive of in what way Hassan is getting harassed by DGG. Yeah, exactly. Outside of Destiny community, DGG is community, even though Destiny's community is just his website. Exactly my point. There's, you know, there's a difference. If you if you go and spend time on Destiny's website in, in DGG chat, that's a different flavor to like to the Reddit, right? And I know this myself because I get, you know, generally people like me a bit more, people like me quite a bit more in the stream chat and the DGG chat. Let's be honest, that's the real deal. And then so the subreddit is a bit more 50-50, but a lot of um, the, just the YouTube commentators hate me because um, Destiny's YouTube comments comments and stuff generally lean a bit more to the right, so obviously they're going to be less interested in me because I'm a lefty, a leftoid. Um, so yeah, but those you know they're very different parts of the community, and they kind of have got a different. I don't know how to explain it. There's a different vibe to each one. It doesn't make sense to put them all in one box. Do you know what I mean? I suppose the Discord as well is like accumulation of all of them, I guess. 
So yeah, I'm being a bit. I'm probably being a bit reductive to say there's only four. But do you see the point I'm trying to make? The key point I'm trying to make, right? Is there's a difference. And you you probably argue the same thing about Vosh's community too. There's probably that difference, you know. But I just yeah, I just always find it a bit bit odd when people are like DG. It's like it is the boogeyman Daliban memes, right? Whatever has led him to this point, um, he he. I, I, the problem is like, for a long time, I've wondered uh, how. What happens when he defends a really bad take? And then it happened with the Ukraine situation. And, you know, because, do you, yeah, do you remember the JXE stuff as well with the, like, watching, um, like, wa like, uh, 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 like, stealing content stuff? Like, any criticism that Hassan gets, like, instantly, like, full nuclear, the people criticizing him are bad people, they're bad faith, they're clout sharks. Um, he's right, everyone's trying to tear him down. He hardcore guilt trips and, like, um, and, like, plays the victim. Uh, which is ridiculous because, and I don't, I don't know. Like he needs to re be reminded of this. He is literally the largest political streamer in 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 the Western world. I don't. I'm only saying Western because I don't know if like China has like some gigantic political streamer that I don't know about. He might actually be the largest political streamer on Earth, on the planet ever in all of human history. In which case, like holy fuck, he needs to tone that shit way down, way, 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 way down. Like. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you, people in chat, I know. Shh. Um, he needs to tone that way, way, way down. He can't keep playing the victim every time he gets criticism. It's ridiculous, okay? He needs to tone that shit down, okay? Um, okay, so that's th those groups. Um, Destiny. Um, oh, okay. De no! Oh, oh, no, I'm not, listen, we don't want to splice drama streams. We'll end it there. I just wanted to get the Asan juice, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. No, we're going to give that a miss. No crossover. No crossing streams, okay? I'm done with talking about the Destiny stuff anyway, to be honest, for now. It's gotten fucking Chernobyl, so we're going to leave it. Anyway, that's that. We're going to close that down. some uncouth behavior okay right so this is um this is vosh's response so this is vosh's response right to uh all this business correct adam something posted a 40 minute video about how gravel lies about azov so a bunch of euro sock dims might come in here being fucking annoying dude i'm sorry to say this but you know europeans and fucking being secret crypto neo-nazis goes hand in hand sometimes okay Europe and uh, pro-NATO Europeans being a fucking They're fan again. of Nazis so for running defense for Nazis is not exactly yeah, news to me, okay? Holy shit. Also, Adam something, look, I know he's got some good videos on fucking, you know, engineering stuff, but mm -hmm. uh, deeply, deeply fucking frustrating to, to constantly... Uh, you know, have this conversation, especially when it's literally an ex alt right guy who was a Nazi until like literally a fucking year ago. Okay, maybe it's real Jesus. comfortable for uh, someone to to fall back into those uh, into those uh, propaganda talking points. Anyway, I think this is a fairly unwarranted comment on Hassan's part. Um, Adam Something's video on the situation is really good and very unambiguously not a Nazi video. It's just. A video which criticizes some very biased framing that the Gravel Institute engaged in, um, where they overstated um, and misrepresented the presence of the far right in Ukraine as a way to sort of implicitly justify pro-Russian invasion talking points, um, which is not good. We, sh we should not do that. It is, it is bad to lie in a way that justifies an invasion. We, we should avoid doing that, uh, if at all possible. So um, in response to this, Adam something made a YouTube community post. Um, so apparently Hassan called me a Nazi following my recent video on the Gravel Institute. Here's a clip of it. And that's the clip that we just watched. Um, and Adam something, in my humble opinion, dressed him down very effectively. To, to summarize, such takes of his are the product of his simplistic American left streamer Ooh. bro views being thrown into the we vortex of today, nuance that is, oh my again, God, pigeon. Wait, he's gone. Come back. 
Come back. We're in the middle of this. Come on, Vouch. I'm relying on you for your take. There's no way you didn't hear that one. That was loud. <laughs> Worse, a European armed conflict. He goes on to... Now, to be clear, um, Adam something is condescending in this post. However, given Hassan's initiation of this drama, I would say it's fairly warranted. Um, I can't really blame Adam something for the tone, and I think that what he said here is, 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 is you know, pretty, pretty fair. Um, Hassan didn't mean to insult me. He simply reached the narrow limits of his understanding of the world, and since uh, he then couldn't control the... Um, uh, and since then, couldn't control the resulting emotional outburst made up of fear, confusion, and frustration. For all these Jesus. years, he and others like him were able to surf the waves of Bernie Sanders, a person with an actual overarching political philosophy and nuanced worldviews. By attaching themselves to Bernie's correct points, these commentators were able to conceal that all their views are just a variation of the same three to four half-baked disjointed ideas in lieu of a coherent set of values and an understanding of the world outside America. That Jesus. is... Um, a Correct. very thorough dressing down to <laughs> a very thorough dressing it is a good, down. It is a good to dressing put it down. Lightly. Um, of course, Hassan talked about this as well. Um, here we go. And it's he the worst kind of freaks well. that love this shit. Immediately right, it is. Which is just a points. five thousand likes. Oh, keep in mind, by the way, I'm only showing clips of Hassan's stream here because, like. I can't watch like a full hour of Hassan getting mad at a post every time. Obviously, the clips that we're watching from Hassan are pre-selected to be the most vitriolic. This clip in particular is seven minutes long. I don't even know if we need to watch all of it, but let's just get a feel Damn, for it. Damn, Vosh is going likes hard in against two Hassan. two hours, dude. 5,000 likes. Well, I did. I watched his entire fucking video. What is this? I understand he's in a lot of... Stress. Lots of people have been piling on him, me included, over his Ukraine takes. Such takes of his are a product of his simplistic American lefty streamer bro views being thrown into the vortex of nuance that is Europe. Worse, a European armed conflict. Yeah. I simply, as an American streamer bro, leftist, uh, cannot comp understand the complexities of arming Nazis and training them. It's, oh, you fool. I do, by the way, think it's a little bit ironic that Hassan's response would indicate the simplicity of his worldview. <laughs> because he misrepresented it in a way that did exactly what Adam something accused Hassan of doing. Oh dear. Which is taking nuance and reducing it to fit into like the three or four neologisms that he's comfortable with. So, yeah. You just do not understand. You do not understand. Uh, I'm a European and you're a non-European. So you don't understand the, the complexities of arming and training Nazis. You know, I, I did grow up in Turkey... So I do have a different perspective than I guess he does on NATO involvement, but um, I don't know. I mean, I, I personally do not favor an institution that literally fucking ripped ultra-nationalist violence through the country that I grew up in. But hey, but that's not a European country. Isn't Jesus. that right? Hungary, on the other hand, is. You know? That's firmly planted in Europe. Whereas Turkey is not. A lot of Muslims in Turkey never gonna... Oh my god! He's such a little shit. He's trying to suggest that the reason that, you know, he's basically throwing the racism accusation in in a subtle way. Now, like that's obviously what he's doing, right? He's trying to suggest there's some sort of racial animus behind it. And he's suggesting that, like, Adam something wouldn't see Turkey as European because it's full of Muslims, basically. It's so bad faith. Yeah, it's mental. Going to be a European country despite its, you know, despite Istanbul being in fucking Europe. Hey, it's fine. As a European myself, this is, of course, nothing new to me, which is why I've been able to make these. If I go over all of these points, we'll be here for a while. I just want you to get the vibes. So that's why I'm not responding. Detailed, nuanced points of view. Oh, God. Does it hurt when you're cranking yourself so hard here? Even when it comes to actual neo-Nazis in Ukraine, instead of the expected knee-jerk dismissal and denunciation. Oh, you fool. He literally is saying, like, you fool. Cool. You do not have a nuanced approach to neo-Nazis being armed. I, as a European, on the other hand, I do. <laughs> Be 
people who aren't familiar with the complexities of Europe and Ukraine, and especially the current war, might find those takes of mine scary at first, which I understand. Disingenuous people might even say that I was defending Nazis in my video, The Gravel Institute. But this is, of course, not the case. I'll skip ahead to the end. Uh, a lot of assessment here that shows a gigantic Jesus. blind spot. Okay? The gigantic blind spot is that you just don't care about fucking Nazis because they're not going to kill you. I think that's what you think. U.S. bad isn't an ont isn't a political philosophy. It's an ontological foundation. First of all, the U.S. is bad. Like the, the idea that it's not bad is is fucking. Oh my god! So stupid. Essentially, Hassan's <clears throat> It's not U.S. bad versus U.S. good. That's not that's not the fucking what an absolute fucking moron. <laughs> I love the fact, I love the fact that he's doing what he's being accused of. It's like Vosh says here. He's just doing what he's being accused of. <clears throat> you know, it's the, yeah, you probably can't really summarize these issues down into such a dichotomy as US bad or US good. Um, there's a lot more perspective there that you need to engage with to get to the truth of it. I don't know. I just, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. And, and that's honestly what a lot of people base their political philosophy on. Yeah. San just says US bad all the time. Duh, it's, it's dumb. The US is bad though. Yeah, exactly. Supreme. To say Russia bad, it's this falling into the same trap for sure. Like you can say, for example, the Russian invasion of Ukraine is, is wrong or it's bad or whatever you want to word you want to use. Like, of course, you know, or whatever it is, like you can make a perspective that way, but to but to kind of essentialize an entire nation on the basis of like something, you know, it's crazy. His reaction to what Adam something had to say proved every point that Adam something had. Um, yeah, there's not really that's it's pretty much that simple. Um, so Adam something, uh, of course. Uh, came out with more posts in response to this. So he also, Hassan also did a thing on Twitter. Um, we can't go over all the, we can't go over everything here, you know. <sighs> Hassan's Twitter tantrum about me is a very useful lesson about reactionary thinking and intellectual honesty. Um, basically, Hassan tried to discredit Adam something by doing the text version of clip chimping and didn't really engage with it and just it's all so dumb it's just embarrassing behavior you can all look at it if you want it's all public there are videos on it i'm just giving the gist because i'm about to get roped into this um and he uh, uh adam something talks about how reactionary thinking works um and uh says that hassan is engaging in it and i think that's fair here he concludes, while both Hassan and I are leftists, we're nothing like each other. I am a leftist of consideration, while Hassan is a leftist of sheer circumstance. Had he been born into a different environment, he could very well be typing out anti-feminist posts on Twitter right now. He'd only need to switch out a few words as the rhetoric and thinking are already the same. By contrast, I feel I'd find my way to leftism eventually, even if I was born into different environments. I'd like This is Cope, by the way. This Adam something was wrong. I think I I think I didn't I think I commented it a little bit in my video. Um, in what I talked about yesterday, but yeah, I don't, I don't agree with this because, you know, the idea, like, it's literally just like, I'm built different. It's literally just like, I'm built different. You know, I'm not subject to this because the thing is having the ability to look into something and be convinced by it is also an outcome of like, do, do you know what I mean? It's like, not like you just built different and oh, I just become a leftist. No. In contrast to Assange, sure, you know, <clears throat> you know, it's kind of like that classic thing of, well, this person here works hard and that's why they're successful. It's like, well, why do they work hard though? Like, what is it about their experience that means they're in a position where they work hard and you've got someone else that doesn't work hard? Like, wh wh where does that difference come from, you know? But yeah.
Well, she's still, but I can, I can stream a band streamer for a little, for a little bit, but not for like forever. Quickly get caught up in reactionary thinking, but eventually <laughs> my analytical thinking would prevail over my feelings. So this is about um, the concept of being morally lucky, which is philosophically tenuous, but. The basic idea here is that Adam something is making the argument that you can yeah, more feels reliably like would, yeah. trust um, the beliefs of a person who had to fight to arrive to what they now believe in, rather than people who just are there because of what they've been exposed to. Obviously, we're all products of our environment, but um, I do feel like there are a lot of leftists who have a problem of being leftist because they have leftist positions, but having the logical systems that could have led them down any road like it's not like the systems they have would lead them to leftism they're just already a leftist and happen to have those systems i'd like to believe that the way i think about the world like my moral systems would lead me back to being a leftist every time right, wait a sec <clears throat> this is a banging comment we are our circumstances but Hassan would be a fascist if his uncle was tucker carlson <laughs> Oh my god. Damn. I think I, I agree with that. I think I agree with that, to be honest. Assuming that I had those systems. It's a good way of knowing that you have the toolbox necessary to deal with problems or changes to your thought processes. Uh, even if you're already a leftist. Like, basically, you don't want to be the leftist who's left behind by history because new problems arose and you didn't have a consistent system to deal with them. You want to be someone whose principles are such that they can stay progressive um, even in new situations. You want to be like those cool like second wave feminists who didn't become weirdo transphobes because all of their pro-gender liberation advocacy was based on biological essentialism, you know? You want to be like those feminists who are like 75 years old today and are like hippie pro-trans grandma types, you know? Like, you, you want to be able to keep on par. You want the logic to stay there. And that's the goal. Um, so, you know, Adam something... Uh, Adam something... Um, Soy analogy. Did his Soy analogy. Reply. And it was then that, because the drama had um, exploded a little bit, Hassan, as I understand it, started to look to my community. Um, here's a, oh, yeah, here we uh, go. a clip from a stream. This is where it gets Twitch. good. I want to see what Vosh says about dude, this. Because, like, Vosh constantly talks about Vosh derangement syndrome or whatever the fuck, and his community loves talking about that shit. Meanwhile, they literally have brain disease. Oh, no. Like. Oh, no. That's not you know good. what I mean? Oh, no. This is like. He apparently spent like 30 minutes looking through my subreddit, finding people who were critical of him and yes. disagreeing with them. Yes, he did. We watched it. Stuff. Here's another bit. Horny. There's all these Definitely fucking legal. horny, horny, westoid, angloid brained, disgusting filth in the chat. Ugh. Ugh. Oh man, that's a sick burn, bro. You fucking killed him. We tactically love Nazis, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, you fucking killed him, dude. He's consistently demonstrating the limits of his understanding on this issue. Adam SSP Pogigil. Neoliberal debate lords, dude. Yeah, not surprising that they would uh, fucking align with Nazis like this. I mean, he is pro-NATO, so of course he is literally tactically going to uh, align with uh, Nazis over USSR involvement in Europe. Oh, so no. We know that already. What What USSR? There is no USSR. Anymore. Oh, no! Okay. Which is the history of NATO. Riddled with it. Many such cases. Yeah, the US... Basically, like, look, there's obviously critiques you can make in NATO, like... Sure, <laughs> like I don't, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a a very, um, you know, broad analysis of foreign policy and looking at different factors and so on. Um, but it's just often so weak. People point to like, oh, well, when NATO was founded, there were some Nazis that were part of it, and that is as a result, obviously, of like in Germany, you obviously had like the high leadership of the Nazi Party that were like. Um, imprisoned, but a lot of them were executed, like the Nuremberg trials. 
But then there were people within, like you needed people from within Germany to run the country. So it's like, what, what, what do you do? Like, what do you do with all those people that were in some way involved with the Nazis? Obviously, I don't think you want people that were running, um, you know, a death camp to be responsible for like some element of, of leadership and stuff. But it, it tended to be people that were part of the lower political apparatus, I think, that ended up taking the taking over. Because what's the option otherwise? You what you have Americans and British people and Russians or whoever, you know, you have them in leadership positions in Germany. So so yeah, it's like but then people go, well there was someone in NATO that was a Nazi or there's some people in NATO that were Nazis. And it's like, okay, I agree, that's like shit, right? But like what 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 are you supposed to like, I don't understand if Germany is gonna be if the new if the if um Western Germany is going to be part of NATO. What? How do you manage that? Do you, do you know? Do you know what I mean? It's just a bit like, again, it really lacks that nuance, and it's easy to just revert to, oh, you like Nazis? Then it's the most baby brain shit you could imagine. <clears throat> you know. So, yeah, it's it's like, what are you supposed to do? And that's the thing I think I'd like to ask someone is like, let's say that it's 1945, you know, Nazi Germany has, has crumbled away. You're looking to um, denazify. What do you do? Anyone that was in any way involved with the Nazi party can't hold any positions of power. Well, unfortunately, the people that were in those positions, they're the ones that were going to have the knowledge and ability to have a political office, you know? Like, lots of German citizens were at least permissive of Nazis, you know? And obviously the Nazi party worked to purge and murder and kill um, hardcore political dissidents of the Nazi party. So, like, what are you... Like, I just, I just don't know what the solution is, you know? I just don't know what the solution would be. And I think that people have got these takes about it, but don't think that far and just... And it, literally, it's Nazis bad soy. USSR allied with Nazis before NATO even existed, okay? That NATO was just copying uh, the USSR uh, uh, political strategy, all right? Um, hey, listen, NATO had some Nazis in their higher-up posts after World War II. The USSR full-on allied with, uh, with Nazi Germany. They were, they were in it before it was cool. No, this is, this is very dumb. I've said this before, but unfortunately, um, Hassan is morally lucky. Uh, he, oh. he's a leftist because he's a leftist. His internal thought processes on this are very bad. Um, and most notably, he is incapable of receiving criticism. I, I, it's like foundationally impossible for him to hear criticism uh, and, and to respond to it um, and, and to learn from it. I, it's just not possible. I, I genuinely do not think he is capable of it. I have no idea what that is a product of or what led to that. Um, but it's deeply unfortunate. And, uh, you know... That's not really a problem when what you're saying is true, like when he's saying we need a higher minimum wage or we should vote for Bernie Sanders. But man, does it become a problem when what you're saying is not true. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's an issue. Now, the reason that I'm involved in this isn't actually because he was looking through my sub. It's because, and I'm not kidding, he had the audacity to DM me on Twitter. No, no, no. So yeah, not every German was a Nazi, but the point I'm making is where do you draw the line? Because Nazi Germany was Nazi Germany. Like it, it had a stranglehold over the entirety of the nation. And, you know, whether you like it or not, some people were at the very least permissive. And the question becomes like, where do you draw the line? Like, a soldier's no good because they were in the Wehrmacht when um, Nazi Germany was in power. Is this civil servant no good because they were a civil servant when the Nazis were in power? Like, the point is, it's not possible to completely remove the apparatus that helped support the Nazi government and replace it with something else. It's the equivalent of trying to remove someone's blood from your system and replace it with other blood completely. It's just an impossible task. Do you see where I'm coming from? But some people will be like, oh, well, you mean Nazis are fine? Well, obviously not. No, but like, what, what is the, you've got to deal with the reality that's put in front of you. Twitter, essentially asking me to moderate oh, no, it's all my good. community so you guys would criticize him less. That is 
Not a joke. Um, now, I'm sure you can all infer how I feel about that, just on the face of it. I'm not going to leak DMs, but um, he managed to be very patronizing while doing this. Uh, at one point, I think he basically said something along the lines of, I know your head can get big because you get a lot of views. Like, he was referring to my war streams. And I'm thinking, like, from you, man? Like, like my head's getting big because I allow my community to disagree with him? Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, I told... Okay, right. Well, West Germany reintegrated a lot of Nazi civil servant soldiers. One of NATO's head generals was an ex-Nazi general. Okay, Pluto. Like, what's the alternative to that then? What's the alternative to that? Who are you going to have from West Germany at NATO that isn't an ex-Nazi? Like, it's madness to me. I just don't understand what the alternative is. Not everyone was a Nazi in Germany. Okay, so what, you're telling me some random fucker off the street is going to have the capability to go to NATO? You're fucking stupid. What do you mean? The point is, the people that have got the ability and the experience to do the political shit in, in Germany are likely to have been Nazis. That's just the reality of it. Unless you're going to bring some fucking random fucker off the street. Oh, look, that guy over there was a resistance person we didn't catch. Um, they've been sitting around for the last six years in a in a basement, desperately trying to avoid the you know the secret police. Do you want to come and be um, the prime minister, the president? Do you want to be the finance minister? <laughs> like you're so fucking stupid, it's unreal. What do you do with them? What are they supposed to do? You can't just bring random people off the street. You have to deal with the fucking situation you're given. And the reality is the people that have got the influence, knowledge and power or whatever to do things would have been Nazis. Like, whatever, like, explain to me, how do you do it? How do you do it if you don't have any Nazis in your political power office, etc.? Told him that my community's concerns are legitimate. I would be doing nothing to change my existing policies. I also yeah, told exactly. Him that I most non-Nazi politicians, a lot of them were killed. Some left the country. Maybe didn't want to come back. I don't know what their, their deal is. But fuck me. Can we get some fucking sense in this chat, please? Most of you are okay. There's just a couple of idiots. I found it very hypocritical that he would ask that of me when his mod team has banned everyone who speaks positive of positively of me in his community for, like, years. It's true. His mod team just auto bans like anyone who praises or defends me in any respect uh therefore shutting me out of what would otherwise probably be the largest community that i could potentially appeal to and hassan has never done anything about it and what's more i've never asked him to do anything about it uh because i try not to like like dictate the moderation policy of other communities even if i think it's ridiculously unfair you know like i've complained about it on my stream which i feel i have a right to but you know i wouldn't dm hassan about that but he DM'd me because you guys were, you know, criticizing him, essentially. Um, I think this demonstrates a remarkable fragility, uh, like just a, 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 just a demented level of fragility on his part. Um, I, I, don't even, I don't even really know what to say about it, to be honest. It, it's, it's, it's so much of a self-parody. Um, you know? I, I, yeah, I, I don't even know. Um, Hassan got quite racist about it as well. Well, how did he, um, how did he find a way to do that? Coconut Island clip? Coconut Island clip. Hold on. Um, let me see. Coconut Island. Do -do -do -do. Hassan addresses Vosh's, oh, 40 seconds. That's convenient. I reached out to Vosh earlier today. I was like, listen, dude, I see, I see something going on that I don't like. I'm letting you know. It's a... It's Fair criticisms. Uh, by the way, even when I even when I think criticisms against a person are warranted, I usually take a look at my community to see if they're. Sorry, fit. sorry. Listen, I got really. I, I haven't been listening properly to the past five minutes. I hope I didn't miss any salient points. But um, but yeah, I just I don't know. I'm really annoyed that some people don't understand history, and they just don't get it right. 
you know, like, I don't know, like, obviously, oh my God. Do you know what happened to fucking people that were not anti-Nazi in Nazi Germany? Do you understand? They all got fucking murdered. They all got murdered. The people that were most critical that remained in Germany and, and other areas near there, they got fucking killed. What, who, who is there? Who exists? There's going to be able to do this shit. Anyway, I'm fucking done with it. Fair, you know? Like, for example, I think that Hassan deserves plenty of criticism for his handling here, but I don't think that gives you guys free allowance to make any stupid old criticism of him. Um, but uh, from what I saw in my subreddit, it seems like it was fun. Like, it just, it just seems like valid criticism, you know? So, um, anyway. Never ending death spiral. It will turn out bad if you just like allow this to foster. And he was like, he was literally like, yeah, no, fuck off. Like these were legitimate criticisms. I was like, bro, they were literally clipping from my Twitter where I was criticizing Russia to make it seem like I was pro Russia. How is that in any way, shape, oh, or no. I didn't tell him fuck off. Of course, I didn't engage in that language. But um, <laughs> the sentiment of what I said, you know. What? <laughs> Did he just say I didn't engage in that language? What the fuck? That was really surprising coming from Vosh. Damn, prim and proper. Form legitimate criticism. You know what I mean? Like, here, I think he's, I still think he has like ideologically uh, progressive values. Uh, I just don't think that this is anything but just people literally just saying, fuck Hassan. Yeah, well, this is obviously clip, but he also does a lot of us, I think. Um yeah, um uh yeah, again, I, I don't I don't know. Um yeah. Um seems seems pretty 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 dumb. Uh I, oh, I just don't no. know like how, how would you ever get him to accept criticism? I, I just have no idea. I, I genuinely have no idea whatsoever. It it seems like any criticisms that you could make of him like would always be framed and interpreted as being bad faith. Um, or being insincere or something. Maybe he and Destiny are more similar than, than either of them is willing to give. Oh, <laughs> oh that's going to put a cat amongst the pigeons. That is going to put a little, a little cheeky cat amongst the pigeons, that's for sure. Ooh, that's going to be, that's going to be triggering. Oh my God. Seriously though, why bring? I don't understand why they need to bring Destiny into it. Honestly, I don't get it. <laughs> you want to hide into nothing? Oh, anyway, listen. I ain't here to defend Destiny's honor. Okay, I'll tell you that much. Destiny can defend himself when he gets wind of that clip. Don't worry about that. Okay. You know, give give credence to. Yes. Um. You know, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's always, it's like, there's always something, right? To an extent, I do this as well, right? Where I, um, where I frame, I mean, obviously, like, the whole VDS meme, where, like, if people criticize me, but I think, I think usually when I write stuff off as VDS, it's often because it is. I mean, I'm usually willing to, like, discuss, I, I guess, I just don't think I've ever engaged in this level of, like, obvious denialism, if that makes So, look, one thing I will give credit to for Vosh is like there have been times where he has listened to criticism and I've never seen Hassan like take like like okay okay listen like I know you're gonna be you know you're gonna soy out at me okay it's not copium at all it's not copium at all there's been times where he's had someone make a video that's critical of him and he's brought them on stream and it's been, been a pleasant scenario. And if you disagree with that, you've got Vosh derangement syndrome, obviously. <laughs> I'm just saying that's true. Okay, who's better at taking criticism, Vosh or Hassan? Answer me that. Right. So shut the fuck up. So shut the fuck up and chat with your bullshit. Oh, what do you mean? As soon as I ask, everyone says Vosh. But the thing is, RTBA is like, even if you look at JXE, like JXE gave the most silk gloves, like, you know, she was a bit spicy at times. But in terms of what she asked for, it was pretty straightforward. 
It's not like he can bring Vosh on at the moment. He's banned. Nor do I think he would. Oh, right. Nor do I think he would. Right. No, he wouldn't. No. Very represent, very representative sample. Most people here are probably from fucking Destiny's community. You fucking idiot. Okay, Dario. Yeah, Cringio turns up. Dario, who is better at taking criticism, Vosh or Asan? The answer is obviously Vosh. Okay, there's no two ways about it. None of us are good at taking criticism. They're not both equally bad. That's cope. That's cope. You're just saying that because you're embarrassed about your bad take. Anyway, I'm not... Look, I'm not going to argue with people. Listen, if you think on my day off, I'm going to argue with people from chat about who is worse at taking criticism, Vosh or Hassan, you're literally fucking dreaming, okay? There's absolutely no way. There's absolutely no fucking way. I gave Vosh the mildest criticism and he called me the R word. Well... Look. <laughs> the problem you got, Dario, is you did it at a time when he was getting absolutely onslaughted with loads of shit. Stop having Vosh derangement syndrome. Makes any sense, right? Like, messaging a person to tell them to get to moderate their community to stop criticizing me for a thing which is pretty much empirically correct. I, I no know. one is good at taking criticism, okay? Do you know how difficult it is to take criticism in a public space? No content creator is. The kinds of content creators that do are people like Thought Slime, right? And they're cucked. And they're absolutely cucked. Do you want to see what a content creator taking criticism looks like? I'll show you right now. This is what it looks like, okay? This is the world you're building. Are you ready for this? This is the world that you're building right now. This is this is what you're dealing with, folks. You've seen this, right? Apologize for using the caveman voice. Anyway. No, I don't know. I have no idea what to do with this. I'm sorry. I, look, Hassan is a huge figure. He is just like a massive um, figure in the, in the online left. And I can't like replace him in his size. So if I had... If I had the ability, I would, I would try to like, I guess, guide him in a more positive direction. Um... But I have no idea how to. If if I felt it was possible, I would like, I would worm tongue that shit. I would be, I would, oh, Hassan, your your words are so wise. But if you consider changing course on this one issue, like, I'll pad it if I need to. But I can't. Like, there's nothing I can do here, you know? Like, there's, there's not, I, I can't. Do you, you guys understand what I'm talking about, right? Like. There's obviously a strong utilitarian benefit in trying to get his positions to be, like, as good as possible. Um, and if I can't, like, debate him into it, like, you know, if I have to, like, coddle him into it, like, I'll go for that too, as long as more people are on the right side of a position. But I can't do that here, so. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm do, I'm gonna be doing a YouTube stream soon. Um... Because I'm well, I'm, I'm supposed to be going on some panel with 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 a certain band streamer. <laughs> um, I want to try and speak to Vosh this Saturday. I think I want to try and um, I want to try and speak to Vosh though. When is that debate against the that gun Gunter? Oh, it's on Thursday. I'm speaking to Gremlo and that Gunter guy on Thursday, and also someone else. Yeah, I could do the rounds, couldn't I? I could do Vosh, the D-Man, Mr. Girl. Yeah, I think I'll do the rounds. I could call it like Too Hot for Twitch, the Too Hot for Twitch stream. I'll call it the Too Hot for Twitch stream. Maybe DK can do a thumbnail for me. Yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, unfortunate. Um, but, yeah. Well, Skeptical, I've actually, listen, I've actually already spoken with, um, with Mauler about it all. Um, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, like, if Relly wants to speak to EFAP, he can go on EFAP and defend himself. Do you know what I mean? So I don't think he needs me to fight his corner. I've not really watched the coverage anyway. And, yeah, irrelevance or EFAPs. But I know that they were, like, <laughs> quite critical of Relly. Oh, yeah, people are saying he's racist here. Okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> The, the Middle East into fucking shreds. You know, places that are a little bit closer to me than your fucking dumbass podunk Hungarian city that you love jerking off to about its fucking, you know, institutions and, and civil engineering. Disgusting filth, dude. Eurocentrist trash. Jesus. <laughs> Cut a liberal and a fucking fascist bleeds. What? Wait, how in the same rant can you talk about Westoids and Americanoids, but also Eurocentric filth? Wait, where, wait, where on earth can a person be? <laughs> um, do <laughs> Jesus. Russia, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, Charmo Pika, yeah. yeah. Is that it? Was that a racism? It was It was definitely a little weird, champ. Maybe not necessarily racism. All right, that's enough, you fucking drama frogs. There we go. Have you, um, have you dared to ask Hassan to debate? He's not going to debate me. Um, that would be a remarkably bad idea. Um, there's no way he would. No, no, not a... These. Okay, sorry. Did you even hint at it in your DMs with him? Wait, hint at what? Show the Discord announcement. What Discord announcement? What are you talking about? What? I don't show Discord announcements. What do you? What Discord announcement? Oh. Oh, this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In one clip, he said you would be scared to debate him. <laughs> Is that true? If that's the case, then we could stir a bit of a fuss over it. That would be a remarkably unwise claim for him to make. That is not true? Okay, I, um, I would be very surprised. Um... I don't care if you like horse porn. I like the horse memes, okay? It's all good to me. The horse memes are funny. There's no denying it. The horse Bosh memes are top I'm tier. I'm not watching a 30-minute video. Shh, shh, shh. There's no rush to this or, in fact, to anything else in life. Be silent. If there are clips, they will find their way to me eventually. Um, well, we have that interview. In it's funny, right? Like, because Vosh, Vosh is on to a winner with his streams because... He only ever streams for four hours at a time. He doesn't watch, like, super long videos. And he manages to get a bunch of YouTube content out of it. Um, he manages to, you know, obviously make a bunch of money. I don't think I could ever do it. 